Hello, everybody. Welcome to Swindler's Den. In this week's session of Icewind Dale, Rhyme of the Frost Maiden. This week, we are down a player. Look at the look at the layout, everybody. Except for you, audio only listeners. Hey, there's somebody not here. Um, unfortunately, Taito. Well, or maybe fortunately. Uh, fortunately, but also unfortunate. Uh, she is uh visiting family this oh. weekend next. Uh, so she's enjoying that, but also she's not here. That's the fortunately, unfortunately bit of the uh, stream. <laughs> so, this was not um, well planned out. <laughs> I don't plan these intros out ever. Have you noticed? <laughs> um, so no. with the uh, the forthcoming of me uh, not knowing what I'm doing, let's introduce our players. Uh, first and foremost, we have Grizzlock. Who, um, he's eating. <laughs> I'm eating a pretzel. Uh, what's up, everybody? I'm Grizzlock. You can find me on YouTube at the same name. Uh, I wanted to say a huge thank you to all you YouTube subscribers. We're almost at a thousand subs. So we're pretty excited about it. Um, but yeah, thanks again. I'll be playing Orlin the Half-Orc Wizard. Maybe Pabu will show his face today. I don't know. Who does know? But yeah, I can't wait to get to a thousand subs. I'm going to I'm gonna eat so many Ooh. of them. Get it? <laughs> so... Sandwiches. Next Nuts club. <laughs> I meant submarine sandwich is not a specific brand. <laughs> Next we have Bumble Scum. Hey, I'm not eating pretzels, but I do have an open bag of them. Um, yo, it's your boy Bumble Scum. Um, here I'm playing Highland. <laughs> He's back. You He's know him. back, you love baby. Him. He's bringing the drama to the party. <laughs> uh, that's it. That's then it. <laughs> and then we have cool guy Tommy Taco. What's up? It's Tommy Taco. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm getting rid of that. <laughs> uh, hey, I play uh, Zavros uh, Weinren, a uh, pretender now, I, I suppose, and a, uh, a wannabe monster slayer that actually did surprisingly good last session. Yeah, she did. And last but not least, we have... Dr. Fish. Hi, I'm playing Liliana, the Dragonborn Cleric. I feel like it gets to me, and there's been so much craziness beforehand. You just kind of <laughs> gotta go with it. <laughs> you gotta. But speaking of craziness, last time on Icewind Dale, Ram the Frost Maiden, our group had rejoined each other, and they're like, hey, gang, how's it going? But unfortunately, a enormous bat had swooped down on them while they were figuring out what was happening uh, with the returned Heinlein and had assaulted them with echolocation uh, waves that had stunned half the party before combat even started. And then the combat did ensue and the group ran around uh, trying to avoid this bat and get the best vantage points upon them, upon it, uh, until Zavros was able to slay the beast with his bow, um, dropping it to the ground. The group then started to talk. They're like, hey, should we chase the worm? Should we not? And eventually came to the consensus that it'll be easier to kill a demigod than it would be a purple worm. We'll find that out. <laughs> um, Orland didn't agree, but the rest of the group's like, why not, you know? Uh, so they started heading north um, to Angajuk to catch a ride over to Ariel's Island when they encountered somebody waiting for them there. Uh, the One of the members of the Arcane Brotherhood, Valine Harpel, was waiting for them, uh, assuming that since the since the uh, the uh, attacks upon the Ten Towns had finished, that the group would be on their way to end the everlasting rhyme. And she'd be right, because there they were. And she talked to them for a little bit. The group begrudgingly said, yeah, let's go together, gang, and we'll figure this out. Um, and they stepped aboard the awaiting boat on the back of the whale Ongajuk and begin began to descend underwater. Before we jump into the story, though, I want to let the uh, visual, <laughs> the visual, visual watchers, uh, the Twitch and YouTube watchers. Uh, we are switching to physical dice here on this campaign um, uh, so that the players can't 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 blame Roll20. It's their fault if they die. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, just and also it helps the audio listeners because then they have to read out their number. Um, so the audio listeners also know what's going on more more times than not. So you guys are descending under the water currently. I now, wish... 
I You're trying finished. to tell me you didn't write that out? No. <laughs> that was not that was all I wrote. Believe it or not. <laughs> the tightest no. recap I've ever heard. Believe it or not, I know what I'm doing. I'm just... It's a so tighter recap than day. most weeks. That's all. <laughs> I mean, it's better than I've ever done, so. <laughs> Usually I lose it halfway through. It, I kind of lost it, but I wasn't as nonchalant about it later in the in the recap. All right. So, you guys are under the water hopefully this uh shows to you oh yeah you guys haven't even seen this yet. here you go this is what you're doing Ooh, that's not what i thought it was gonna look like yeah so like you're cooler. the size of angaju the yeah potions don't seem quite well blame wizards <laughs> a little, a little uh, baby this, whale this makes <laughs> no, it's a little an ancient bit whale. more sense i i thought we were like tied to him and he was like a, it was like a chariot deal no 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 so yes oh, you no. are so Atop the back of the Here's whale is a, is a smaller boat um, with a arcane bubbles forming around you to keep you from dying underwater. As this enormous sperm whale uh, begins to swim deeper and deeper under the water. That's, that's my boy. That's, that's your boy. Um, you begin your journey and seeing the sights underneath the ocean, the sea that you normally wouldn't get to see. Uh, for the most part, at the beginning of this journey, you're just seeing uh, large rock structures that make up the bottom of the seafloor as you begin to swim. Um, All right, Javros, you can talk again. <laughs> you know, I didn't speak, not because I didn't want to, but because you're being a crabby old bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Baka. <laughs> No, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm just checking something. Is that it, huh? All right. Well, <laughs> about every hour and a half, uh, you do start to swim up towards the surface um, as the whale breaches and the bubble goes down. There's a spray of water in front of the boat as she go as she takes another breath and goes back under um, and begins to swim further. I want. Who's uh, Grizz is first in the layout? I want Grizz to roll me a d20, please. Ooh. 17, hey. That's a 17. Roll. That is a roll. So at on this first day of travel, as you are in the small boats with it's you five. Um, Valine is with you and two of her kobolds, uh, which are Snillo and Snom are both with you. Um, on this first day, you start to go past a lot of just shipwrecks. There's like these ships, not they're not normal size ships. Like you'll see some smaller ships like I say smaller. I mean, like the size of the Dark Duchess, the ship you were on before uh, that had been taken over as a, by the dragon for her horde. Um, but they're also these enormous ships, much like almost 10 times the size of that ship, um, which was a full size ship if from what you remember. But there's even bigger ships than that uh, that you pass by on this first day of travel. Um, and as it gets towards the end of the day, uh, there probably has been a little bit of chatter amongst all of you, but also tensions probably still high because Valine is there. Is there anything you wanted to say? I, I saw a finger going up. Um, it not to the party. However, <laughs> when I wake up and I have my spell slots back, I'm going to cast sending to 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 uh, Gendron Uruth, the whaler dude. Okay, yes. <laughs> um, <and> just <laughs> I'll send him in the morning and say, I lied. I needed the whale. Good luck. <laughs> <Are they What? laughs> you lied to me. <laughs> uh, that's all you get from him. <laughs> Tying up some loose ends. Another woman lied it. to me after <laughs> making love. <laughs> Damn it, that means they're still alive? Uh, <laughs> for now. Um, God, so you, I think, you have that. Uh, oh, yeah. I was going to say, I think if, if Hylan had been him, you know, uh, living Hylan. I think he probably would have been a lot more like fascinated at the depths and like the weirdness of like the underwater and what's under here. Um, probably would have broken his like uh, 
what was that? <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry, Grizz just hurt. Oh, uh, we got a subscriber. <laughs> oh. He was doing the gift. <laughs> oh, okay. I was so confused. Let's start describing living Highland looking into the ocean. He starts doing that, rubbing his chest. <laughs> Have you ever seen me do that on stream? I'm thanking a subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but like now that he's like this, uh, I, I guess it depends on like I don't know how long the trip is, but um, how, how I guess how long are, are we at basically? Has it been like a day or two days? Um, we... uh, so at this point, like this portion is taking an entire day. Yes, at okay. least. Yeah, he he would mostly just. I mean, he he'd you know split half his time of like looking into the depths of the ocean, uh, watching out for stuff. Um, not as like a, I'm trying to say, it's not like he's watching out because he's like fascinated, but he, he is uh, treating this abyss like a familiar enemy. Um, and then he also, because he doesn't sleep, so he would also spend time uh, while people are sleeping uh, watching the pretender. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> You'd also see as the whale moves through the water, like every every couple of uh, like every minute, the bubble ripples a little bit as something washes over it. Um, but at towards the end of the day, you, the whale starts to slow down for a second. It goes up to breach, takes its breath and goes back under. And then like it kind of swims in an area for a while before it turns and starts taking off. Um, Villains will say, oh, it, it looks like the first spot she was looking for, the island must have moved from. So we might still have a ways to go. Uh, do we have a plan once we get to this island? Are we going to straight up try to fight Ariel in her abode? Or I know your friend had mentioned maybe approaching at midnight when she's gone. Do we want to approach the island then, or wait till her to approach her tower then? I suppose if there's any chance of her not being around, that would be for the best. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You had mentioned that Oriel will likely quickly take notice that her thingamabobber that I don't remember the name of. The Codicile yes, of the White. Yes. Yes, the doodad. <laughs> I didn't have my notes open and it's a hard word. <laughs> um, would quickly be noticed that it was missing and that do you, do we think she's going to have a good idea of where it is or that can sense where it is? I don't know the extent of her sensing powers. I would think very cute being that she is a demigod. We have a few options of either trying to get it and run. We can straight up face her or we can try to remove her transport and slow her down. You think we could kill her rock? Anything's possible with the right mindset and strategy at hand, but it won't be easy. None of this will be easy. The rocks are alive. If we were to kill her rock. Zavros, you fight monsters. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to talk again, Zavros. For different reasons. Zavros, Zavros, shut up! <laughs> <laughs> <It's> fine, I'll <laughs> just go pretend over here. Fuck you all. <laughs> Uh, anyways, <laughs> uh, if we were to kill the rock, there's, she cannot leave. She could, it would just take her longer than usual. It might also slow down her hold on Icewind Dale, at least for until she finds another transport to get it close enough to the sky to cast her spells. Would we go about killing her mount without her knowing on her island? I feel uh, like it would be. cause a bit of a rocket. That would be the thing, yes. Should so I am asking to see what your plans are for this. Should we be under the assumption she's already aware 
of our planned trip. I don't think she'd be aware now, but I think she would as soon as we make any noise on that island, maybe even step foot. I don't know. It's much likely that even if she knows we're there, that she might not think much of us. If anything, I think we might only have to really worry about her minions. She thinks of us probably as ants. She probably won't leave whatever she's holed up in for us. You would not hunt a rat for yourself when you own a feline that can do it for you. Very true. All right. Shall we kill this rock, then go after the item? Any um, ideas? If, Sorry, she have a treasure room or? I don't know the layout of her abode. No. You again had mentioned this codicile, um is what we need to truly end the winter. Does she need it to maintain the winter? Is this something that she would be taking with her? I don't believe she would be carrying it around, but I do believe she'd be holding it close. Uh, it apparently, from the rumors I've heard, is able to contain us or it contains a spell or a ritual that'd be able to carve our way through the glacier. So it's it's not something she uses to keep the winter, but something that could undo it. I see. Okay. Or could undo at least part of it, not the entire thing. We need the the structure that's within the hidden city to do that. Yes. Yeah. Then we have time it, to think if you need more time to lay out a plan, but yes, go ahead. What were you going to say? Uh, perhaps it is better if she doesn't need this to maintain her spell, then she is unlikely to be carrying it with her on her nightly travels. That was my concern if we snuck in, if this was something she took with her when she had to recast her spell. Um, Not that I'm aware of, Perhaps it is better to sneak in and sneak out, and she tracks us down, then at least it's on not her home turf. So do we want to approach the island at midnight or wait or approach at a, whatever time and then just wait until midnight to enter? Or do we want to midnight approach, wait, midnight enter? What are we thinking? Because it, I, again, I, I know it's a larger island and there's bound to be obstacles, but I don't know how long it'll take upon arrival to entry. Well, <clears throat> I can perhaps speed up our finding of the item. Um, if you know what it looks like, perhaps uh, have a depiction of it. I don't have an exact depiction of it, no. We just know it's there through use of different divination magics that we've been using to locate it. So if I was to... It's gonna look like a small book, but I don't even know exactly what it looks like. That might be enough. I wanna... When I, like, my plan is to cast a locate object, which you need the name and... Uh... Oh, you might not even need to know what it looks like, as long as you have the name. It says, describe or name an object. So I guess if I name it, which yeah. we know it's called the Cotisile. I don't know what it's the called. Cotisile. Cotisile. <laughs> and of, I guess that's of enough. the white. Yep. Yeah. Uh, what's the range on that? It's a thousand feet. So I, we would have to, you know, be close enough. Yeah. Well, it's somewhat close enough. It is supposed to be for an, uh, something that's familiar to you. So oh, I don't it does know say familiar. How much. True. So I feel like I would have to like 
And it's, you can still locate a specific object known to you as long as you've seen it up close, yeah. So if I was to cast like Arcane Eye, what does that do? Oh, I can't cast fifth level yet. It's fifth level, isn't it? <laughs> Damn. So never mind. Uh. I say we should approach before midnight so we can get an actual clear visual idea of what the island looks like. And I think that might have better best inform what we do. And then we wait till midnight formulating a plan then. I, I would... I almost... If only we had more time to plan, Angajuk wasn't just waiting for us to go at a moment's notice. We could have we thought had of... A full... We've had a full day already, and we could have thought of. Looks like we we'll have more spent, time. Spent time looking for something that Ariel holds dear. That's not on our island. We could have sent our Goliath friends to go hunt it down, pull her from the island, and then we could have struck. But no. Unfortunately, I don't think she has anything she holds dear within the Icewind Dale. I think everything she needs is on her island. Or maybe sealed beneath the glacier, if that seems so important to be sealed up. But you're smart, my son. You'll come up with a plan. Hate that. <laughs> um, I I would agree with approaching the island at night as well. <laughs> uh, just like this family friction happening over the war plans. <laughs> Um, perhaps before midnight, though, I know that is when she is over the ten towns, but we may have a little bit of lead time before then when she actually leaves her island and see what the time difference is there to buy us as much time as possible on the uh, island to scout and hopefully find it while she's still gone. Yeah, so we might want to approach even a little bit after she leaves, especially with the way they, the rock attacks this whale Rushity. she could approach drop us off and get to somewhere safe where she can wait for us Rushity, you've been studying her on her flight uh how long does she spend uh over the towns uh from what felicity's seen it's about two hours but she hasn't gotten a ton of data points either yeah um, she doesn't know. She kind of has to leave her island, do a swoop from the north, going east, and then back around, uh, back west to kind of make a loop around Icewind Dale and then head back. That's not so bad. You get two hours and I, uh, yeah. on the island. Yeah. You can cover so much ground in two hours. Yes. So, we're going when she leaves. Perfect. What do you think, Pretender? Has anyone ever heard of the legends of Pals for Life? Shut up! No, I'm just kidding. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they were in a, they were in a place. Ah, a lot of dragon eggs. And when Leroy Jenkins decided not to plan and ran straight in, they all died. <laughs> So I think waiting is the best option. <laughs> I was wondering where you're going with that. <laughs> just throwing Warcraft reference at us, my God. <laughs> well, I was just wondering if he meant he was going to run in without waiting. <laughs> yeah, I was not sure how. <laughs> All right, so that that day, uh, the first day, first day, uh, you get of travel, um, and you continue you continue moving onward uh, the next day. Um, uh, uh, uh. uh uh, a bumble scum roll me a d20. Ooh, yeah. I'll do what? that. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you continue to travel. <laughs> Switching to physical dice, am I right, baby? Um, oh, fuck. I just rolled a different one. I got a three. This is horseshit. I'm quitting. I'm quitting. I'm done. <laughs> uh, so you continue to travel. Angajuk uh, continues to move. Um, and as you get past more of the like 
there's still every once in a while off in the distance is you can kind of make out a ship that's been wrecked um but they're not as frequent as they were before uh but you start to see like stone structures that are like clearly not just rock um outcroppings and and uh and seafloor um but they seem to be these large like you can make out pillars and archways and every once in a while you'll see like a uh uh like a set of stairs that leads up to a throne with ru with ruins around it and again all these things seem enormous in size like this throne that you see you could you could easily like sit on it and make take up not even uh, a, uh, a tenth of the space on the seat um as you go across all of these ruins you stop, like you'll be you'll go and Anga Juk starts to turn and swims past this enormous castle that's got big cracks in the wall but seems to mostly be intact as well um, but she continues to swim do I see a dead lady Goliath in the bottom of the ocean you do not know that's oh, uh damn. that's like three years from yeah, now it happens yeah. in three years man <laughs> And not in this part of the Well, season. I don't know. Gris throwing out Tommy Wimey shit, so. <laughs> True. I have a question for you, Sharp. E. So, in looking at my spells, I have divination, which requires um, an offering appropriate of my god worth at least 25 gold. However, I did not think to shop for an, an offering appropriate <laughs> um, to my god beforehand. Mm hmm. Sacrifice um, will be paid I, in blood. Could I just like, because I have the twenty-five gold. Could I just offer the gold to my god? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Okay. Um, before I cast that, though, I'm going to convene with my party. Um. So if we, um, I can ask one of my deities or one of their um, associates advice about a course of action that we're going to be taking in the next couple of days um what do you think would be the most i get one question <laughs> they're very specific on what's happening um what do you think uh if we wanted one additional piece of information about what we're trying to accomplish or if we could get a closer answer, answer as to where the item is. That could be helpful. Hey, well, I... we're looking for two items. Oh, true. However, what's the second item again? The uh, the professor orb. Professor orb. Oh yeah. So, we don't care about that shit. If. <laughs> Either Valine or Orlin. I mean, Valine has seen it up close um, and could perhaps um, describe it, or even it may be unique enough that we could use um, the locate it object spell on it. Or if Orlin has seen it enough, um, either of them potentially could cast that. Um, whereas the codicil, I, I think asking for the codicil over the orb if, we're, if we only get one question. Will we die? You know, that's that opens up for the interpretation later that like, well, everyone dies. <laughs> but in the next few days, <laughs> I don't know if that <laughs> is covered under the spell. <laughs> it's not quite as exciting if we know. Also, Ask when the best chance ask at what time we should strike. Because if they know the best time for us to go in, everything should probably follow suit and be turn out better. I, yeah, that could be useful as well. How many questions do you have? I get one <laughs> per <laughs> casting. So per 25 gold, I get one question. Well, they you have know, to answer me it, truthfully. <laughs> it just so happens that I have about... <laughs> 245 gold on me. <laughs> Don't waste your fortunes, pretender. <laughs> um, I pull out a flask um, and I hand it to 
uh, Liliana. Um, I'm sure you could probably figure out. Uh, <laughs> it's, I don't because it's not a magic item, so it's not hard. I think it'd probably be clear for you to tell. Uh, it's a flask of holy water, uh, oh. which is worth 25 gold pieces, which could it be is. an interesting offer to a god. Yeah. Reminds me. Uh, take these. I'm gonna hand Heinlein. Oh, before I hand Heinlein, I, I kind of like go to hand it, and then I'm like, "How are you with code?" I'm fine. Okay, that's good. You don't need one of these. I wandered these lands for two weeks. Oh. Very oh no, well. we started again. <laughs> Would you like a potion of cold resistance? Uh, sure. Oh, sorry. I was still. I I turned to Heinlein to say it. Oh, oh. sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. I'm fine. Okay, I wasn't I sure. Do not require. So I hand Felicity and Zavros um, potions of cold resistance. Liliana, you're already resistant, correct? I do not give one to Valine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, you didn't want to give one to Snom? Yeah, uh, Snom or Snillo. Are they both the undead ones that are there? No, no they're, the they're both ones. living. Living. Oh, yeah, she wants all them to All the die. undead. Right. Oh, shit, I guess not all the undead. Most of the <laughs> undead <laughs> and the robot is back on land. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm undead. I can't. I'm not a part of <laughs> Actually, and actually, I re looked through my inventory for, I mean, either the holy water or I do have um, equipment that I use for augury um, that I can use as an offering as well. That's worth 25 gold. So, I would say, don't have to be quite so cheesy about it. Uh, drink these when, or if we hear or see her returning, it's the effect of for about an hour's time. So. You know, if we run into something that breathes ice or if she's returning, chug it. Question, while, while we wait, uh, does anyone want any of this, uh, this honey mead here? It could very well be the last of it in this entire land. Only for a while, in theory. You know, unless we fail and... Well... Yeah. Do you wish of me to drink it? Do you want to drink it? Why do dead people keep asking me for permission for shit? <laughs> Speaking of which, where the fuck is, uh... Shinar or whatever? Shinar is Shinar. back on, on land with, uh, three Shinar and the three other kobolds. And that, yeah. Okay, I'm just wondering. I'm still, like, really curious. Like, wait, where the hell is she at? Yeah, she's calling your Master Zavros all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we got some cleric shite going on here. Tell me what's happening. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, I wanted to touch on that just really quick. Uh, I do think that asking the location is better than the timing, because I think we already have a decent idea of the time. So, if we know the location, we can go straight to the item and leave as fast as possible. We also, as long as I do do it multiple times a day, they get a bit annoyed about that. I could cast it again tomorrow and ask another question. Okay. Right. Yes, as long as I sleep in between, then Sharp can't lie to us. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I will cast, um, I'm going to ritually cast it just because it's my only fourth level slot and I don't know if things are going to turn sideways at any point. I threw it in the, the description in the roll 20 chat, um, but, um, I will start with my augury equipment. I'll use that, um, as the offering to start with. Um, and then I will ask, um, where on the island is the codicil of white? All right, you ask that. You're using these bone dice. You're not using cards like I thought you were before. 
Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you roll your bone dice. There's no roll or anything for this. They just tell you, right? Yeah, it is just um, puts you in contact with a god or a god servant. Ask a single question. Truth will reply. It might be a short phrase, cryptic rhyme, or an omen. So you can do a little bit of bullshittery there, but it has to be the truth. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, and what do you ask? Where on Oriel's Island is the Codice Isle of the White? Um, you roll these dice. And as they clack against the floorboards of the ship that you're riding upon, um, so for you, not for anybody else, there's a flash of light from all of them blinding your um, vision for a moment. And uh, as it clears, you start to see this dark island covered in uh, in a heavy fog and standing above you. I believe you've seen this picture before. Hopefully it shows up when I click it again. Um, is this giant tower that has a giant skull on it. And as you're looking at it from ground view, the uh, the camera, the vision begins to swoop upwards uh, and towards the top and looks down at the top of the tower where you can see this giant nest um, built into built into the top of the tower. You don't see anything within the nest, but it seems to be pointing towards the top of the tower rather than just the tower itself. Okay, so it's clear like it's at the top of the tower, probably somewhere in this nest. Um, it, I would say it it doesn't focus on the nest specifically, so you could assume it's at the one of the higher levels of the tower. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, um, and as part of the spell, because the offering is consumed, um, as Liliana comes back into her vision, the um, dice are now just powder at the bottom of the boat. Right. Um, good news and bad news. Um, good news. The codicil is um, on the island. I have a pretty good idea of its location. Might have to do a little bit of searching, but at least uh, better than what we had before. Bad news, it seems to be on the top level of her tower, so we're going to have to go through quite a bit of it to track it down. Well, that's better than what we had. Yes, I mean, at least then we know beyond dealing with any minions that may be there and ancillary loot. Um, we don't need to waste too much time on our on the lower levels. Hmm. Very good. Right. Unless anything, anybody has anything else they want to do on this day. Oh, once again, towards the end of the day, uh, Angajuk begins to swim around in an area uh, amongst these ruins and, uh, different archways and things and then begins to take off once again in a different direction probably signaling that again the island had moved from this spot that she'd known it at and continues to swim uh next day tommy roll me a d20 i use a candle as a roller <laughs> or as a shake <laughs> Oh, uh, that's a nat 20. Woo! Hey, I like it. Yeah, so as, as you guys wake up and you see the last of the temples, at one point you see this enormous skull with a singular ocular hole in it, um, as well as some other larger skeletons. You begin, uh, the uh, Angajuk breaches once again, um, and you see this island covered in fog um, as she descends once again. Uh, Nuvalin will say, seems she has found it. Um, she, she like wakes you guys as it's uh, it's nearing midnight at this point. Oh, we did yet. Oh, oh, you see that when she wakes me, I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> shift away from her a little. Won't be too much longer before Arya leaves her island and we can approach. Wonderful. 
If there's anything you want to prepare, do so now. Again, it might take some time to get wherever we need to go, but who knows what awaits us there. Um, if we have, say, another ten minutes. Yeah, probably like an hour and a half until until you can approach. Okay. Um, I can then again cast Divination if Heinlein is still willing to give up his holy water. Mm-hmm. Um... If either we can ask, I mean, since we're pretty sure about the time, we can ask what other dangers lie between us and the Kadasai. To get an idea of what we may face on our way up. Perhaps you could ask if our acquaintance here has any ulterior motives. <laughs> like eyeing behind his shoulder he's <sighs> peeking in the corner of his eye oh it's hmm. <laughs> Leliana leans in really close do we do we want to waste when we're pretty sure that they do like I'm pretty sure that I just assume that's the right. case I don't want to waste right, right, a right. spell of on course, that of course. <laughs> perhaps what they are would be the better question Ooh. I must remind you that we are on a boat fitted for eight people. <laughs> we are not very yeah. far away, so your no. whispers are not as <laughs> effective as you might assume. Zavros pulls out his chalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I am going to pull out my chalk. And, uh, man, I don't Let's see. Well, it doesn't say I have any paper, so... <laughs> Never mind of that. Do you need paper, my boy? Paper. I've, got I've never paper. heard you say me boy before. <laughs> I'm trying it out. I think this all this water is getting to me. <laughs> kind of piratey. Uh, yeah, if, if you have some. Yeah. Uh, I, I do. I, I hand some over to you. I'm going to write on a piece of paper. And uh, I'm just going to send a message to you Grizz in Discord you sent Zavro sends a mes- mes- uh, message to me yeah like oh I write God. it down on a piece of paper and hand it back to you how does Zavros have fucking Wi-Fi or data down here yeah dude it's crazy <laughs> you see I upgraded to that uh that that what, what's that what, that that Musk dude he owns Tesla he has a weird satellite <laughs> do I Also, out of game. To Heinlein's point again, passing notes on an eight-person boat, also not obvious at all very either. Clear. <laughs> this is a very, very intimate conversation. Uh, a quick question to everybody else while I look this up for Tommy. Um, does anybody not have a potion? Uh, I believe I don't have a potion. I no, do for not a have fact, a potion. I do not. Oh, do you mean of... Uh, like a potion uh, of healing, I'm sorry. Oh, no, yeah. No. Oh, I got two potions and crystal vials. I have no idea what they are. You could have gave those to me, and I could have been trying to figure it out this whole time. Okay. Um, oh, hey, hi. Uh, uh, hi. Now is not the time. <laughs> Slaps. <laughs> I drop the vials. They break. No, <laughs> I don't know why I'm being so mean to Zephyrus. He's being an ass. I brought him a jar full of, like, rabbit guts, and he just hates me. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, Where are you keeping these potions, by the way, Orlin? In my satchel. Okay. Uh, Just checking. I forgot to shine the satchel. Uh, to your point, though, I don't have any potions whatsoever yeah. unless they're okay. given out when I was not here. I will give Leliana a potion of healing, and uh, would it help Heinlein? Yeah. Okay. Then I give him as well, one as well. Yeah. Cool, you, you, cool. Could, you could tell, because because Liliana's, uh, like, channels healed him. So uh, you yes, can assume yes, okay. potions would. Then, yeah, I'll give each of them one of my potions of healing. Thank you. Oh, potion. Mm. Um, I think just I the believe. regular. Just regular? Okay. Oh, okay. I think the answer is no, surprisingly. Oh, I, dang. 
unless I didn't write it in here. Do, do you remember an episode where I like crafted some or something? I, feel I don't like... think so. I don't think you ever crafted okay. any. I think I just spent my time crafting potions. Okay, you know. so I'm gonna pull out both of these crystal vials. I'm just gonna chug them, see what happens. No, I'm you remember you got them? <laughs> I can't remember. How much time do we have? I can't help you. Oh, okay, never mind. I don't know what they are. There's I have say, no I idea can, what like, the fuck they are. The rest of our oh, wait, we got them in that tower. Oh, were they in the tower as well? I could find them eventually, but... All right, I'll look up. I believe that's after. where we got them. During the break, I'll look for them. What'd, what'd you ask, Chris? Uh, I was just going to say, is it worth me looking to see what they are for him then? But if you don't... If you need to yeah, look we'll, it up, we'll figure it out in later. between or yeah. during the break. Should we role play that I am studying them in the last kind of final hours before we go? If you want to role play, you can. <laughs> <laughs> that way, it'll seem authentic when you tell us during the break what they are. I think we've already exposed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, this is going out live on Twitch. Yeah. No. Which not TV it's not a secret to the audience. Dead. I must say, if this is a boat of eight, there's not a lot of room for you to be doing these alchemical texts. Does anyone ever get the weird feeling That's that something. no matter where we are, someone's watching us? <laughs> Highlight is like staring at 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 the pretender. <laughs> there's that. a fucking there's a camera following us. What is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Eliano. You were gonna ask a question to your god. <laughs> it's, oh, that's you right. know, that's what we were really, doing. we have the time. It's fairly short in comparison, but um, I'll uh hold Highland's flask and um channeling some of that same light and anger as before it's slowly um just as she's holding it and starting to cast the spell as a ritual again um it slowly um starts to very to simmer and then eventually just evaporates out over the casting of the spell and, and i am going to ask um what dangers lie on our path to the codicile Lie on your path to the codicile. Oh, now he's gonna only tell you specifically on the path. God damn! I mean, it... specifically things that lie down. <laughs> yeah, the things that. <laughs> there are no prone creatures upon your path. Sorry. <laughs> Ask me later. Um, as you look into this vial, the water begins to swirl, and inside of the vial, you see images of, um these figures that seem to be made out of ice um you see like you'll see elk and you'll see small like young white dragons um some of them seem to have things with inside of them some of them seem to be very intricately carved statues um you'll also see flashes of shipwrecks um that slightly poke out of the water um as well as you'll see caves uh built into this like almost like an impression in the ground there's like a, a semi-circle impression with three caves on it um and that is all you see for on your way um did i get any like context clues as to where the caves are like is that near the tower or was it just like in the side of a cliff face it was in a cliff face okay Also, you see a big ass bird. <laughs> um, uh, well, one was what we would expect the rock, which I'm assuming I can put two or two together that the big ass bird is a rock. A giant white <laughs> bird, yeah. Um, the rock is uh, okay. potentially on uh, going to be in our path on the way to here, but if Oriel is gone, then presumably the rock is out of question. There were um, creatures that seemed to be made fully out of ice, um, some more humanoid, some like large animals or even small dragons. Uh, not sure if it's what's going on. Some seem to have bits inside of them. Others were pure ice. Just be on the lookout for any creepy ice statues. They could come alive. Um, Did you describe some of the creatures for me? Not the ice ones, but you said that there were other creatures? 
There was like bits inside of the ice creature. There, there was full oh, creatures inside the ice sculptures. Oh, that's what you're saying. Oh, okay. Uh, but then there was others that were just like just like ice statues. The the creatures inside the ice could could you get a clear picture of them in your mind or no? Um, some looked like elk. <laughs> Yeah, you don't see, know like, which ones. Like it's fully like an elk encased in ice, and, or oh, okay, that's, bear encased okay. in ice. People. Yeah, I was gonna see if maybe I could ascertain what some of those things were, but yeah, animals frozen in ice. Full on, like. <laughs> yeah, no. It's, yeah, it seems yeah, yeah, Pretty yeah. standard. <laughs> yeah, standard woodland creatures. Davros, I know um, you're not a very good hunter, but this is a bunny. <laughs> this is. Oh wait, no, you've killed those before. There would all, yeah, there'd also be things like plenty of animals. <laughs> <laughs> I shake a little bit when I hear about the foxes and rabbits. Um, there was also I'm not sure as much of what it means. It did show a bunch of shipwrecks, presumably because we're still on the ocean. And need to get like that little bit to the island, but also just be ready for shipwrecks and what could come out of them on the island. A general warning got a vibe from the gods um and then most mysterious of all just three caves on a cliff face just the three caves nothing coming out of them no other details just three caves nicely lined up so really be on the lookout for that <laughs> uh, is your god suggesting that we use those caves or that we avoid those caves. I believe I asked what dangers lie on our path. Okay. So I believe the caves are going to be bad, but not necessarily. Well, I guess because it's dangers that lie on the path, I guess I was wondering, are these, is that also the path and the danger uh, is choosing? I, oh, possibly. Yes. The I, danger of choice. I had the same thought as Heinlein here. They are both the path and the danger. Mm. They can be cryptic or just give an omen. So it's a bit of a dealer's choice. <laughs> but yes, that does. I feel that does make sense. Um, that if we choose the wrong one, it'll be more danger. But it is one of them is the correct path. Or they're all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible as well. And it's just like, don't, just don't go here. It's all bad. You know, Heinlein, um, you know, in case we die, I figured I'd ask this question, uh, rather sooner than later. But I remember you used to, like, always ask people, like, who do you serve? Like, as far as their master and all that. I'm curious, who's your master? Like, <laughs> his neck does that, like, twitching thing uh, as he like gets a headache um uh serve and then like he doesn't like it like doesn't answer <laughs> seems odd I mean you always tell people that you know they should serve their master and when you find out who their master is you try to see retribution on but how do I know if you're not serving your master I am. Shouldn't one hold yeah. oneself to the same standards? I am compelled to serve. Oh, so he has I like a spell. Am alive here, almost wholly on my resolve. Well, that was cryptic. Oh, yeah, just thought I'd ask. Why has your resolve shifted to the pretender? You seem to be more focused on him than others. I'm gonna test something. Hey, Heinlein, will you hand me that uh that bag right next to you? Um. He does not do it. <laughs> okay, I was about to like, be like, if he would have done that, Zavros like, I grab an arrow, I aim it at my head. <laughs> that would be interesting to see. 
<laughs> cool. Why are two backwards. people serving me? I don't want this. <laughs> Anger Juke's like, wow, the one person who uh, actually convinced me to do this is dead. So, uh, yeah, you're all. I'm just going to go right back. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's. It's. Uh, uh, it's. Uh, begins to get. Uh, closer to the time that you are going to. Jump upon the island. Jump on it. Jump on it. <laughs> uh, from our oh, position, nice. our, can we see the island? Like, as we've been waiting? Uh, no, you are under the water. Okay. Just checking. Do we see the caves? Uh, you do not. Okay. You do see a shipwreck if you'd like to. <laughs> do I see any Ooh. exotic fish? Oh, that answer didn't. No. Damn. Exotic for me. No. I'm <laughs> you see a bunch of knucklehead trout. Is that you want yeah. to? What you want to? <laughs> More of those. <laughs> they appear to be both fresh and salt water. I mean, if you guys want to give me a perception check, you can. Like shaman. I mean, I will, but my my questions were about the island itself. So. Oh wait, yeah, I can control yeah. this. Okay. Do you want me to roll like an Arcana check to see if I can figure out what those potions were, or no? I just have nine. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll do it on the break. It's fine. I roll because I don't know here. where you got them. So. My perception is a uh, dirty twenty. I rolled a six. Dirty twenty. Four. Dirty twenty. That's not even worth telling you. It's a yeah. I got a it's six. a three. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna happen a lot with physical. Hi, <laughs> uh, Lynn. What did you see? Uh, not shit. I got a nine. <laughs> All right, Zevr, so you're look you're looking around, and there's this shipwreck that's not far from where you guys have been kind of hanging out and waiting. Um, and you do see there is movement amongst the broken boards of the ship. Ooh, um. Anyone else see that over there? But you know, that broken ship over there, something seems to be moving. I don't see anything. It's probably your imagination. Quite you active. know, I'm going to I'm going to actually disagree with you on that this time, but uh, I'll, I will take that into consideration. Uh, where are my spectacles? <laughs> I think they were crushed. By the Shadowland Dragon. So if he's pointing this out, can we see this, or is it just? Um, when he points, uh, it seems like it was something that had moved past this opening in okay. the ship and is okay. gone at this point. Okay. Was it like a big shadow, or was it like something that just was super quick, or was it something that was kind of for a little longer than a second? Uh, it was something moving at an average pace past the oh crack in it, yeah. Okay. Swimming at a as a at a um relaxed speed, if you will. I was just trying to really gauge like the size. I'm trying to anyway. But... Bigger than bigger than uh a human. Oh. Mm. Well, whatever it is, it's bigger than any of us. I don't know about you, Liliana. You are dragonborn. It, it would be bigger than her as well, yes. I have yes, it is also bigger than you. <laughs> legends of a fearful beast. It, that'd be the right word. Name the Locrary. Let's write about that once. Or oh, then are you making up creatures again? Oh, no, that's Your real. Imaginations. <laughs> he used to always make up these creatures and talk about them. Just the wild imagination of this boy. I'm here still with two cool still hate, <laughs> still hate these interactions. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't gotten any better. <laughs> um, so you're Zavros's, um mentor, right? Whenever he was real small. I'm, I'm not your mentor. <laughs> Zavros, oh my god. Orlin. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm off today. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> As Are much of a that's canon. That's canon. I asked her specifically if she was my mentor when I was a as, child. As much of a mentor as a mother could be, yes. I taught him everything he knows of the arcane arts. Hmm. Mentor, yes. Mother, no. You don't have to call me mother. <laughs> last session. Yeah. 
Just like two no, days I'm, ago, you I'm did call her mom. Her I'm, by no, that, you did I mean, call her that. By that, I mean she said she, she was a good mentor, and she said something about mother. Oh, okay. So I was okay. saying, you were a good mentor, but a terrible mother. Is he in his rebellious face? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have been on edge lately. Are you sure you're not getting angsty? Do, 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 do orcs, like, hit puberty at different times? <laughs> <laughs> no, Orland's already gone through puberty. Um, I do, oh, walked I in did. on him, did you? <laughs> oh, I, I had a question. Oh, I think not, the whale's getting ready to. Let's <laughs> not. Uh, <laughs> let's not press any further. Let's go. But, uh, should we be looking for these caves to enter? The caves didn't look like they were underwater, correct? Oh, Mr. No, they were of the God. They were they were caves. Above yes, they were land. above, above ground. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I because he said cliffside, so I thought it was like the cliff, like the side of the island. Oh no, 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 no. Of, uh, oh, no icy, okay. snowy cliff. Okay, okay, I get it now. Obscured in fog. Um. So yeah, you. The whale begins to breach. Um. And as as she reaches the surface, another spout of of mucus and water and air. Um, you see behind you as the rock is taken off towards Icewind Dale. And you see where she has breached is right next to this large structure made out of ice. It seems to have crumbled in places. This seems, seems to at one point have been a dock uh, for whoever lived on this island possibly before. Um, and it's about 20 feet above where you are. So just this shelf of ice 20 feet above you. Well, Uncle Juke's still there. Yep, she's the whale you're riding on. So yeah, she's still there. No, oh, okay. I thought we got off already. Sorry. Nope. Uh, you wouldn't have been able to just step off because the where she has brought you to is about twenty feet up. Oh damn. Hmm. Well, do we need to set up a row? Probably be the most helpful. Yes. In our experience, I, I kind of forget. Is Felicity a good climber? Is that like a skill set Tabaxi's have? Yeah, she has claws yes. and she can climb. She has a climbing speed. Which perhaps. Too bad I didn't select that feat last level. <laughs> if Felicity does not uh, mind, she could climb up there with uh, the rope. Uh, yeah, she'll do that for you. She climbs up, uh, ties off the rope. Boop. Um, and you guys begin to climb. This will make it a little bit easier for you, but you still will have to make a check. Use um, your crampons, everyone. <laughs> yes. Uh, so, first person up, make an athletics check for me, please. Whoever wants to go first. Okay. Terrible okay. at those. Catch me when I fall. Oh, that missed the dice tray. The water will. <laughs> the freezing water. That's a nat one for a one. <laughs> Orlin can't even like get his foot up in a spot that would help for him to begin to climb. Um, can I just like walk up, scoot over behind the Highland and be like, it's okay, buddy. And then like give him a little bit of a boost up so that <laughs> are people are really or struggling. Orlin? <laughs> no, Orlin. Sorry. Everyone sorry. Is sorry. With Orlin, Orlin this session. I'll say, uh, uh, wait until you hear my dice roll before you start saying. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, seeing Orlin just like uh, okay. try his best, just like kid at the, in gym class trying to climb the rope. Just like, ooh, I'll um, give him a boost up for a help action. I see your mother didn't teach you how to climb at all. Shut up. Oh, never mind. Real. I thought that was an it's not. Hold on. <laughs> Orlin thought real hard about that comeback. <laughs> Have advantage, correct? Yes. That's great. It, an eight? You know, we could always just tie the rope around you once we get, and when we get up there, we can just pull you up. <laughs> Valine will walk up. How about you let me go first? If you could help an old woman. Uh, she looks at you, Lily. <laughs> Usher in the water. I guess. I don't want to help. Can I help her by not helping her? <laughs> like, can I pretend she, to help? <laughs> you can pretend to help. She rolled a 16 and she climbs right up. 
<laughs> and then the two kobolds walk up to you and put their arms up to you. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I have my own kobold I'm looking after. <laughs> they look around. Yes, yeah. No, I got you. you keep uh, looking for him. <laughs> Shnom, come here. <laughs> you try help Snom up. Lift him as he high needs as I it because he rolled an 11 and it has negative 2 to strength. <laughs> and Snom rolled a 15, negative 2 equals 13. Snom gets up. And Snillo no. puts his hands up. All ah. right. <laughs> oh, before I like let him go, what is she planning? <laughs> I lean into Snillo <laughs> kind of aggressively. <laughs> She she wants the codicile. What else? Uh, in the orb. Does she plan to kill me? No. Does you she plan, plan to kill her? Does she plan to kill you? Gulps. <laughs> Very well, go. <laughs> Maybe it's a climb up as well. Now it's just the party on the board. <laughs> yeah, I guess I can try. Um. Hmm. See, yeah, uh, see I how lower sick the DC is. by five. <laughs> let's see, let's see how it goes. Don't help me. <laughs> Don't help okay, me. I got a negative one to athletics. Let's do this. Jesus, I forgot how weak this party. Oh gonna... yeah, yeah, I got a fucking, fucking two. <laughs> I, I got a three, but a minus one. <laughs> Savros is also slipping. Like, that, like at this point, the rope is starting to get ice on it. He's just sliding back down. Okay, let me try one more time. I, I, I've done my stretches. Yes. Uh, I said, negative no. Uh, eleven. I say out loud. <laughs> it takes over a little, little bit, but he finally gets his strength and starts pulling himself up. Oh my lord! Hey, why, don't, why don't you give it a try? I didn't have to make any encounters today. I just had to put this <laughs> rope on me. A rope. Hey, Heinlein, why, why don't you give it a try? I'm waiting for you to get up there, Pretender. Oh, is it in case I fall? Correct. Ah, I thought so. Um, hmm. For the viewers at home, without without a rope, this DC is a 15. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll try it again. Uh, it's currently Come on, baby, love me. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got a nine. <laughs> Can I... I have an idea. Oh wait, no, never mind. I can't do it. Hence this just... floating dish doesn't do that. <laughs> no. No. We failed last time you tried something like that. <laughs> okay. You have to just accept help from Eliana. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna like I'm gonna look at Heinlein, kinda squint a little bit, and I'm gonna like walk up to Liliana and just kinda whisper it's like, hey, um, could you like help me but like pretend like you're not helping me, you know? Sure. Yes, I don't He's so close to us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this. Well, that's an I... eleven. Hey, and hey. let's see. <laughs> see if you. Oh man, it's stuck in the fucking wax. There it goes. <laughs> the the eleven's gonna do it. I yep. just rolled. Again, it takes Zavros a little bit, but he's able to pull himself up as well. He's he's more used to being lithe and and acrobaticy, but not using his upper body to pull himself up. Okay, then Heinlein would go right after. I got a twenty-one. The secret is, <laughs> yeah, the secret is using your legs more than your arms. Cut the rope. <laughs> Heinlein makes up with Liliana. It is your turn. Um, I got a nineteen. <laughs> yeah, the, the two, the two bulkier ones make their way up easy enough. I do have to ask: Does Liliana have guidance? Uh, Liliana does not. Okay. Because when I I couldn't her... remember, we were like in a weird like guidance circle jerk. Uh, what? Go. <laughs> a guided circle. Tree. <laughs> um, there was I a think... point where we're all like, "Well, I could cast guides." Oh no, I can cast guides. Oh, it's like work. I it's... Can cast guides. And... Yeah. When I switched domains, I had I lost right. light, that so I got rid of guidance to pick up light, mm. so that I could see. That's fair. Um. So speaking of being able to see, like. You, there was a fog over the water, but now that you're up here on this this makeshift dock, there like fog is just obscuring all of your vision. It's heavily obscured to the point where you can't you can only see five feet in front of you, even those of you with dark vision. 
Um, and yeah, you are all standing next to each other on this dock with the waves crashing against it. Uh, and Anga Joke begins to descend back under the water, leaving you upon the island. So I have a question um, before we proceed any further. Do we want to try and be um, sneaky? It'd probably be for the best to avoid as many things as possible. Uh, or do we go fast? Make sure we have enough time to get in and out before she arrives. Uh, so I'm going to sit down and I'm going to pull out these, uh, and pull out like these leaves and shit. I'm going to burn some of them real quick. I'm going to just strike it with splint and tinder. I'm going to sit there. Uh, you see my, like my necklace starts to glow underneath my cloak. Uh, I'm going to put my hood up and I'm going to cast Pass Without Trace. All right. Perfect. Is that the plus 10 one? Yes. Yes. Two I have advantage. advantage. Because, <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I got advantage when I put that cloak on and stuff and can't hear my footprints. So. All right. I should be good. It's just people in armor that I'm worried about. <laughs> and me. I just roll like shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you guys want... But I just jingle, jangle, clank, clank. <laughs> jingle, jangle, clank, clank. You All do right, sound like roll. a Christmas sleigh every time you take a step. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys want to roll stealth checks. Ooh. Hey, everyone gets a plus 10. Oh, nice. <laughs> Now, do I get a plus 10 also, or is it just... Yes. yes. Okay. I got a 26. 16. Oh, that's a 12. I got oh, not 20! Hey. So a 30. Well, 39, because I got plus 9 to stealth. Right. Um, I got a 13. You rolled a 3? Oh. Yeah, disadvantage, baby! Yeah, yeah. makes <laughs> um, sense. Snow, I'm also got a 14 as far as low rolls go. And those aren't even that worse than Snob. Oh, mum, mum, mum. Snob turns to you. Shh. <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you just hear his talons running on this ice like a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not on the floor. Big tracks too loud. <laughs> How long does this last? Uh, an hour? And it's I concentration. No Damn. <laughs> Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you guys can uh, begin to walk down this uh, ice dock that eventually leads uh, to these enormous steps that are, uh, go up up a cliff. Uh, from what you can tell with the with the fog, uh, they're about it's about a twenty foot wide path and is made of bricks of ice uh, that begin to head up this cliffside. Um. You begin to go up. What are pe- uh, what are people doing as you go up these these enormous stairs? You almost have to climb over each stair to get up them. Well, unfortunately, I don't. With all this fog, there's it's really hard to do much other than just walk forward. Mm-hmm. I'd um, say listening. Yeah, I would definitely be listening for anything other than our party. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, do perception checks. And this is purely for listen check. I think I think that only gives me a bonus to sight. <laughs> People are loving the dice rolls, I can tell. Four. <laughs> oh, it's no, way gotta... more exciting. It is. Like... <laughs> it's a lot of failing on, on my end, but that's... I just want to double check something. <laughs> um, yeah, I fuck. Got a 19 on my perception. Wait, 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 hold on. Ugh. Okay, cool. I get disadvantage on sight checks. Okay, sweet. So, we're good. <laughs> I got a fucking six plus four, so a ten. Uh, I got a fourteen. Um, uh, so Liliana and Heinlein, you would hear up towards the top of the steps. Uh, you just hear something going. <laughs> yeah. I did use my um my one of my my abilities so i imagine like so like the shimmering specter also like it like forms near me 
Uh, um, and as it's like flowing around me, like as it's like closer to wherever the sound is coming from, it like starts rippling as if sound is like disintegrate, like disturbing mm-hmm. it at a molecular level uh, and like parsing that sound closer to me. Um, can I do... Like, put my shield up. Yeah, like I'll like motion for everyone to stop just for a second. And in that, can I like... I want to say an insight check because the giggles seemed very menacing to me or even just like what could this yeah. be like what what the, what what's up with this giggle baka <laughs> yeah. um you're trying to figure out what would what's make this kind of this noise giggles? is that what you're looking for or <sighs> or like the intent of the laugh i'm gonna go for the intent of the laugh because like what's making it isn't the most important okay. i'm assuming it's some i yeah. little goblin thing just like little, some little guy <laughs> I imagine the laugh is not going to be concrete enough to like get real information, like what it is from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah do a, do an insight check for me, please. Yeah. Okay, you roll well. Cool. That's a nat one for a total of eight. Yeah, you're not. You're not sure. <laughs> it, like okay. it. It seems so. Like it could be. Anything. Whatever is making this seems so foreign to you that it's you can't tell if this is a jovial or a evil or a mischievous or what kind of laugh this could be. Something is giggling up ahead for unknown purposes and reasons. Just so yeah, everyone's like, aware. <laughs> put my like shield up and just like kind of like, like kind of like, not like block people from going forward, but like kind of like a slowing down motion of kind of gesturing for us to take it cl- like easy. All right. Yeah. You guys, this is a 20 foot wide stair, and as you get closer, you can tell it's on the right side of the stairs. Do you try to get with it to go up to see it, or do you just try to go around it? So it's the right side of the stairs, like? Yep. Like if you're facing going up the stairs, it's mm-hmm. it would be on the right at the top of the stairs. And, the and it's right a 20 foot wide like, stair case, so. I guess, I guess so, like, what's on the left side? Is that just drop off? Nope, it's it's also like a railing, like a really tall railing. railing. Um, but you just whatever this noise is seems to be sitting at the top right side of the stairs. So you could try to sneak around it with the the stealth that you guys rolled, or you can just try to see what it is. Just trust that stealth. That was high stealth. Yeah. I do have a question though, Baka. Yeah. As we're climbing these steps, can I do like a history check of some kind to see like maybe if I would have an idea of what once walked up these fucking steps? Cause these are big ass steps. Yeah, roll a history check. Oh well, I did it on. <laughs> you roll that roll twenty. But <laughs> yeah, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was like, quick. I mean, it's it something obviously huge. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're not entirely sure. I I guess yeah. I think we should trust the stealth rolls. But mm-hmm. if anything, I will be closer to the pretender. All right. It's a good thing I have a cloak of all kind, so it's easy for me to hide. <laughs> yeah, you walk up and you get to the top of these stairs. You move very slowly, slowly pull yourself over the last step and begin to trudge into the snow. Uh, and this thing just seems to continue to sit there. Just <laughs> as you continue to off to the left past it. Yeah. Is the fog any clearer up here? It's the same. Okay, okay. It seems like this whole island, you saw that this as you approach this whole island was obscured in fog. So anything on foot level is probably going to be pretty hard to see through. Okay. Um, okay, then how are we going to find the tower? That is the question, isn't it? What do you do from here? You make it past the, the giggling and walk just far enough away that you're not hearing it anymore. Are we just staying on the trail? But well, we assume. Um, there doesn't seem to be a trail anymore. Oh, the steps are just done. So, steps so are done. That was so was those steps. That was from like just the dock area to. Yep, like, it was from the dock up the cliff to where you are now. To like the base of the island, basically. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And now we're just and in we're this... heading to the okay. Yeah. 
and we're just in this white void now of fog that has no discernible landmarks. Mm -hmm. Does Liliana have light cast on her right now? She does. The fog does seem to eat it up pretty quickly, though. Yeah. Like she has like an orb around her, but the distance you put between you and the sound was able enough to mute it that it couldn't figure out that there was a light there. I, I guess how far away does Lil does it take for Liliana to disappear? I'll say with light, Liliana could see ten feet. No, 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 no. Oh, I guess so. So we would be able to see her. Yes. Ten feet away. Okay. Yep. Hmm. That is enough. Um. Can I, uh, Davros, let's try something. We don't know how thick this fog is, but if I give you a boost up and you, like, stand on my shoulders type of a situation, perhaps we can get a head above the fog? We, we could try. So I guess I'll climb on Liliana's shoulders. I think right. I'm the tallest and Zavros is the most perceptive, so. Um, you get up on her shoulders and it still seems to obscure you. Um, I will yeah. also. Oh, good. Go, go, no, you go ahead. Mm -hmm. I was going to say, as you have reached this island and are now on the actual ground of the island, it has gotten cold. And I say that that you've already been living in cold, it's gotten worse. Like, it's piercing through your your cold weather clothing, and even Liliana's beginning to feel it a little bit, so... Take that as you will. Uh, yeah, it's just... This fog is very thick. By the way, is anyone freezing their asses off? Uh, how, how cold do you th would you think it'd be? So it's usually negative 50 ish. It's probably down to like negative 60. Oh, okay. That's so cold. That's so pretty cold. I do not notice the cold. Convenient but concerning. We'll circle back to it if we need to. <laughs> Um, I don't have anything prepared, but it wasn't expecting the fog to be this thick. Um, I will say, Stavros, uh, diff differently from when you are in blizzards, you still seem to have a pretty good sense of, like, you can tell which direction the wind is blowing from uh, and that kind of stuff. So though you can't see things visually, you still have your ranger senses about you that might be able to help you traverse this island. So if that's the case, is there a breeze? Uh, there is a slight breeze, and it is coming from the east, which is pretty typical in Icewind Dale, because that's where a lot of the wind comes off the glacier to the northeast. Um, so you, you know which direction is east, and you know you approach this island from the southeast. So you are in the, you start in the southeast corner, you can tell. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh... And Oh, and I will add on to that. Um, Felicity at one point has described the island to look like a snowflake. Uh, so it has these eight points to it. Um, and it would be two on the diagonals and one on both the cardinals. So a total of eight. Or all four of the cardinals. Uh, Liliana, in your vision, was this tower like in the middle of this island? Um, I haven't had any vision. Oh. D did mine give me? Okay. Yeah. I wasn't sure if <laughs> I'll they... You literally just had yeah. two visions. <laughs> I, like, I didn't describe it as being in the middle of the island, but yes, it was in the center. Of the okay. Island. Okay. I was just making sure. <laughs> hmm. so, uh, yes, it seemed to be in the, the center of the island. So, I mean, this is kind of a long shot, but it's better than what we have. Uh, I know that way is east. And we came in from the southeast. So if we continue to head northwest... We would eventually, I mean, it's, we got to be really close spot on Northwest. Eventually we would hit the tower, possibly. That's yeah. And if it, if we reach a cliffside, we know we're veering too far in either direction. So we can correct course until we reach the center. 
presumably. So, so with with that the case, do you mind if I just get in front of you? As long as I can keep the wind direction, I should be able to guide us. To, to our destination. Lead the way, hmm. pretender. Are they gonna figure? I'm gonna look at Liliana. That guy weirds, uh, weirds me the fuck out. <laughs> it's been it's been an interesting couple of days since Heinlein came back. <laughs> um. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna get a couple of feet just in front of Liliana and like the group here. And I'm, I'll, I'll like walk and then I'll kind of stop just to keep my focus on like where the wind's coming from. And I want to try and navigate us just as straight a line as possible to the northwest. All right. As Avros begins to lead the party into the fog, that's where we'll take our break. Ooh. Oh, boom. So, thank you guys for joining us for the first half of this session of Icewind Dale Ram the Frostmaiden. We'll see you in a few minutes. Take your break. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're almost Woo! to a thousand, baby. Come on, Vamanos. All right. Um, so welcome back, everybody, to Icewind Dale Ram the Frostmaiden here on Southern's Den. Our group has just arrived at the island where they believe Ariel resides. Um, they had made their way up this large uh, ice dock that is collapsing, uh, possibly from age, and then up a enormous staircase made of blocks of ice where they had heard some little giggles in the fog. Um, they decided to avoid it and continue on their way. With Zavros taking the lead, they started to make their way the best they could through this fog. As such, Zavros, give me a survival check, please. You Here's do have most of your ranger senses about you, uh, but you do not have your vision, which does kind of impede this area you've never been, but it is a, a familiar region. All no right. matter how cold it may be. Let's fucking do this, boys. Uh, what am I rolling again? Survival or? Survival check for the first hour of travel. Change my die. It's red and translucent. It actually comes in the starter red. set. Oh my Wait, God. no, I think it comes in the essentials kit. Oh my Oh God. fuck. <laughs> uh 16. Can I 16? Can I, it's not bad. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for an off oh, fuck. Um if you you begin going um along this this point that Ongajuk had dropped you off at and travel seems to go pretty well for the conditions you're in. You don't really hear anything or see anything. Not that you could see much to begin with. Um, but after this first hour of good travel, I need constitution saving throws from the party, please. It sucks. I'm trusting you. This one more chance Ooh. to die before I jail hold you. On, hold on. Uh, again. Okay. Yeah, now I've got <laughs> nothing for that. Okay, let's do it. Eh. I got a 21. That's what I got as well. Eight. Yeah, well, I got a fucking 13. Hey, no? 13. Yeah, I got a 13. <laughs> Um, the 20 on this die is a mug. 15, all right. I'm cold. Um, who, 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 who's with you? Valene? Valene and Snarf and Nilo. All right. Valene and Snom seem to slow down a little bit, as well as Zavros. As this cold begins to pierce through your cold we weather clothing, um, you gain one level of exhaustion. God damn it. Hey, how are y'all? Advantage on your regional, on your survival checks, your skill checks. That fucking sucks. That's the one you didn't want to get the 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 fail on. Damn. The person. I thought that just got lowered your movement. Nope, Damn. movement is level two. Level one Fuck. is ability check disadvantage. They should make that level two. Savros, how far do you think we are from the center of the island? Uh, how far away do I think we are from the center of this island? With a 16. Uh, you think if, if you're able to make a straight shot, you probably have, uh, four more hours. 
Uh, we still got a few hours left. Uh, and I'm going to be honest, it's getting kind of tired here. I'm yeah, starting to think that can... maybe I should have a torch. It's getting rather cold. Yeah, especially with the with the fog, you aren't able to clip along at your usual pace. You have to take it a little more careful. You know, a torch might not be a bad idea. Leliana's and... light is not going much further than 10 feet or so. Um, with it coming to the end of an hour, you do also lose your pass without a trace at this point. Uh, yeah, that's true. Perhaps lighting a torch for warmth wouldn't be so bad. What does everyone think? I mean, uh, we're already lit up. I don't think any more light is necessarily going to make, make it any worse. Oh, goody. I immediately light a fucking torch, dude. I'm keeping same. it close to me just to try and get a little bit of warmth off of it. All right. Um, since Zavro seems to be struggling a little bit more, and I at least got a general idea of the shape of the island, can I assist him on this next check? Just to like, oh, this is roughly how long I saw like this spar that we are I'm trying to finagle a help action out of this. I will allow it for one check. So if you want to use it for this next one, then yes, you can make it a flat roll. Could I? Um, also, I forgot to mention, when we do the constitution stage, Liliana has advantage because of her cold resistance. I mean, you didn't need it on the first one anyway. But... Would Heinlein have something similar? I don't know Heinlein's stat block if he has cold resistance I, or not. I do have cold resistance. Uh, then you also have advantage on the checks. I wanted to ask you that because you yes, brought it up about not feeling the cold. But yes, you just have advantage. You can still get affected yeah. because of how cold it is. Yeah. I did roll better. I made sure to check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Anything anybody else wants to do at this first hour or? Uh, I'll wait until the next one. I think it's best to use my help this first hour so that right. maybe we can get a little bit more further before we potentially need to rest. Oh, by the way, Grizz, those potions were oh. potions of climbing. Yeah, I was okay. going to describe it. Um, so Orlin had looked at these potions on the ship and he's like, oh, I can't quite tell yet. I, I know what these are, but I can't remember. And you got, he's like trying to climb this rope and slide does. I know what these potions are. And <laughs> <laughs> get to the top of the docks. And he, oh. oh, they're potions of climbing. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, Avros has two potions of climbing. <laughs> okay. So yes, next check. Flat roll for survival. Everyone blow on the die. You spit on him? No! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I give it a good massage. Oh! Ah, uh, massage. Did you, roll, did you roll with advantage? No, I don't get advantage. I have disadvantage, so I just did a flat roll. Oh, a flat roll, right. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot about that. Uh, well, I mean, it's a. Uh, it's a 13. 13? It's still not um, awful. Um. But... you want to add something to it? Um. Can I use, I mean, it's usually supposed to be for me, and I know you've let me do it before. Can I add a D6 to his with my... Yes, you can. Okay. So, um, again, a ghost is, like, shimmering next to me and, like, whispering secrets and directions, and I point, and you get a plus five. All right, well, there you go. 18. So... You come, you start traveling for another hour, and with the with the help of these spirits of the past, you're able to continue on a path that seems to be advantageous to you. Um, but you do, as you're going forward, you do see that, again, the island begins to go upwards, and it seems like it'd be a pretty hard climb to do if you wanted to continue forward, or you could try to find a path around that is a little easier to go up. We all see this. Uh, yeah, you would all eventually get close enough to the wall to see it. That is going. It's going pretty horizontal or vertical. Uh, so it would be a hard climb, but you could do it. We again, could send Felicity up, and then I realized that those potions were potions of climbing. So we could drink those. <laughs> hmm. That could be useful for certain members of the. Party. Yeah, sure. Not I'm naming not names. <laughs> uh, well, me and Orlin suck. 
How tall is this that we're approach that we would be climbing? I guess we should uh, know that. First. It goes well out of your visual sight, so you're not entirely sure. Well, we can only see five foot in front of us, right? Yeah, ten because of the torch. Hmm. And this is more of just like a steep incline than like a straight cliff face. Um, it seems to be straight where you're standing, so you don't know how far it goes straight up. So we've reached a wall. Okay. Well, Felicity could check it. And if it goes beyond uh, too much, <laughs> then we should not climb it. Does anyone think maybe uh, those caves are attached to this wall? That's what I was going to say. Which we also were told they were a danger to us. So perhaps we should climb. Do we at least want to do a little bit of recon and see how tall it is? I think that, that might that's be... That's what I'm saying. We should, yeah, we should yeah like that's... a. It. First step before we start exploring to see if There'd like be no caves are reason to climb, of course. just for it to go on a hundred feet. Okay, so I wanna I wanna do something here. I have in my possession. How long is a hempen rope? Fifty feet. I wish to take out my hempen rope. Tie it to the back of an arrow. Tie the 50 foot length onto my hand, like the end of it onto my hand, or like around me. I want to oh, attach yeah. my arrow and it kind of aim up a little bit and just shoot up and see if I hit like the cliff face or if it just keeps going and then like the rope tugs. Okay. Are you trying to shoot it longer than the rope or? No, I'm. I'm kind of what I'm trying to do is I'm just stepping back and I'm kind of aiming and let's say like I'm going to walk back about 30 feet and I want to okay. aim up at like probably a 60 degree angle okay. and fire the arrow to see I'm trying to gauge about how high this thing is even if I hit the wall like going at like a 60 degree angle if I'm hitting something I could at least like take the amount that's left, walk it up to the cliff face and lay it down and subtract that from the rope that I shot up there. Okay. And that would give yeah. me an idea. Uh, you shoot the arrow easy enough to hit a wall. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Um, it connects into the wall uh, and you, you walk it forward and lay it down and I don't know the exact math, but I'm going to say it's 30 feet of length on the wall and 20 still on the floor. You don't know if you shot the top of the wall or not because it went yeah. so high up, but it's at least 30 feet. Driver, uh, tie my rope to the end of that one and aim higher. Okay, I'm going to fucking yank down, <laughs> break yank the fucking down. arrow off in there, uh, <laughs> tied onto that, tied onto me again. I'll step, like, I'll aim higher this time. Let's say I'm going to go at a. I'll go at about a 70 to 80 degree angle and fucking let loose and see what happens. Uh, you shoot and it, I'll just, I'll give you this. It takes the entire 100 feet of rope and there's still, it's still dangling. Well, uh, no, I don't know if that's a tower, if it's still the wall, but I at least hit something and it's 100 foot up. So probably not a good idea. But, yeah, we shouldn't climb that. Yes, probably. Yeah, probably better now to see if there's an alternate way around. I'll yank the rope down, untie them, coil them up. And... All right. At the end of that little excursion, as you continue on the fog, um, do you go? Do you go to your right? Or do you go to the north or do you go south? West is kind of the path that you're given because it kind of as you get to this wall, there's kind of a pinch of landmarks that makes you go southwest or you can go north or you can go east if you want. But you probably would know that to leave you back to the ocean. So question. Yes. Liliana saw like the whole tower, like mm -hmm. from the top down. Mm hmm. Uh, Liliana. So you you saw the tower, right? And you said it was up on the top. What we're looking for? Yes. When you saw the tower, did you see happen to see like any staircases or entryways or anything like that? And what side of the tower it would have been on? 
Did I? There seemed to be a long staircase that went up to it and kind of wrapped around the tower before going inside. Okay. Yes, there was at least an external staircase um, from what I saw. I didn't see any... Did you see where it began on what side of the tower? Perchance? It seemed to lead up towards the skull, which you could assume is considered the front of the uh, of the tower, but the staircase wrapped around to the uh, eastern side where there would be an entrance. Uh, there was an entrance at the eastern side, um, from what I could tell. So, do you all think maybe we just follow this wall? Like, is it like a straight wall or does it kind of look like it's... You said it's like a pinch, right? Um, so if you go southwest, there are two different land masses. The wall, like part of the wall that kind of juts out in places, so it's not flat, um, but it kind of comes out and goes back in. But then there's also a land mass uh, that you had, you kind of followed to get to this point that almost meets that wall, but there's space in between the walk. Um, so it kind of forces you southwest is what I'm trying to say with that, rather than being able to go straight south or straight west. Or straight east. You can go straight east because it goes well, away from the two uh, walls. Because you were going, you were going north, uh, western in your direction that you were walking before you hit this wall. And essentially, there's another landmass here that would make you go southwest, or you can go east back out to the ocean. East is where or north. From. Yeah, we can, we yeah. came from the east. I was just wondering if like it kind of wrapped and like we were able to go like follow the wall east and around, but no, no. no. No, you could follow the wall north or to the southwest, is how this kind of wall works. You think we should walk north, or...? North was my first assumption. Not that it really meant anything, but that was my first instinct, was to go north rather than south. Good as any. Guess we'll start going north. All right, everybody, give me another constitution saving throw at the end of this hour. Son of a bitch. You know what, fuck you, I'm not using oh, you, I'm yes. using a different one. Use me. Fuck! Dude. 15. 18. I got a... <gasps> I got a 5. Wait, Ooh. does the torch five. help at all? Uh... I'm going to say for you can use it for one of your attempts. So you could use it for this one as an advantage if you'd like, but it's not going to yeah. work for all of them because it, it is a so small fire. So I'll allow it for one. Oh, that, <laughs> yeah, five, because I just rolled in that one. So, so yeah. five. So you five have two levels. Good. You're not the only one. Valine and Snom also look like the cold's getting to them, awesome. and Snillo takes its his first level of exhaustion as well. Yeah. I got a so, 17, so I'm... Yeah, you're fine. Oh, my speed's halved. Yeah, Valene and uh, Snob also... switching back to... Uh... <laughs> 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 We're all taunting. <laughs> um, Valene and Snob also seem to slow down in their movement, and Snillo uh, seems to have disadvantage on nobility checks as well. Um, all right, Pretender. Just keep focusing on the goal. Move forward. You know, before I die, <laughs> before I die, you are going to tell me why you keep calling me that. Because I'm like just holding this fucking torch directly, like as close as I can without burning my fucking face. <laughs> Do not worry. You will not die here. Do, Do we need to stop? I think it will only be more dangerous if we continue um because if we do continue to make progress towards the tower and then try to rest because we're already in a depleted state Oriel is probably more likely to notice us the closer we are to the tower so if we need to rest which looking around seems to be necessary for more than a couple of us um, probably better here than closer to the tower all right. Um, so, because I kind of wishy-washy the whale, uh, you can decide to take a long rest now, which is what gets rid of your exhaustion, or you take a short rest, which won't do much for you at this point. Is this implying um, that like 
sitting and resting we're not going to be cold though you have a wizard that can create the magnificent yeah. mansion which will keep oh, you oh, warm. oh i was just thinking create bonfire yeah that makes more sense we uh felicity also has um tiny hut tiny yeah, yeah. i i assumed you guys would want the mansion over the hut but yeah but you don't or. trust her like, mansion if... we're going to the hut <laughs> I think I think I think what would make more sense is if you wanted to short rest, you use the hut. If you want the long rest, you use the mansion because the mansion is once per day. Yeah, I mean, like it's I would I think we need to take a long rest because if we're at half speed already for some of our people, All right. if we take um, a long rest, though, she's coming back. She's definitely going to be here. Then we have to wait another day like that's. We'll just have to, like, rest until this time right, we, tomorrow. But then it's like, you could discover us during that rest until tomorrow, but also until this time tomorrow, we might Again, just get those same failures. I, I also think that even if she knows that we're on the island, I think the danger we face is confronting her minions and not her. Because again, we are mortals <laughs> to a god, and she has protection for a reason. So she'll probably be like, "Yeah, whatever." She'll get complacent, then she'll fly off, and we'll just kill everything and continue on. Yeah, it, yeah. that still being the case, though. Well, well, unless we're just like after the rest, we're immediately going. We don't care if she's home. Like if that's the new plan, that we don't care if she's home, then I guess long resting makes the most sense. But I don't think long resting and then waiting until this time again makes sense because then we could just get cold again. If that makes the sense. The mansion lasts for 24 hours, though. Oh, okay. It? Okay. I thought it was just for the long rest. That's my opinion. Um, I believe so. Yeah. To hut only lasts for eight, eight hours, but okay. in theory, we could cast it again to like sustain us. Okay. That makes yeah, sense. Yeah. I think mansion lasts 24 hours. Um, ba, 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 ba. yep, 24 hours. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Then I'm down with whatever. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, because then we can even, like, try and keep some sort of a watch or timekeeping to regain the two hours we lost in travel. So then mm -hmm. we're, like, back to when she just leaves again. Is uh the mansion, like, a detectable spell? Like, is there even a chance that we're in there and she doesn't even know we're on the island still because we're technically in, like, a demi plane or something? It's uh, da, 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 extra dimensional dwelling. Um, she might not even know we're here still if we rest. But... The entrance shimmers faintly and is five feet wide, ten feet tall. Um, yeah, so it's essentially a portal to an extra dimensional space. So, and yeah. when it's closed, it is invisible. So at least, and it's in the fog. So tight wise. Okay, yeah. I'm yeah. down. So. She would have to have specific, like, someone cast a spell on my island, and I can pinpoint where that spell is yeah. to find us. Yeah, if we want to rest, then right. that makes sense. All right. So Villain sets up, start, opens this portal, uh, and steps inside, and Snob and Snail follow her, and the rest of you do as well, I assume. Uh, back into this familiar cushy room with bookshelves and uh, hearth and a lit hearth and these plushy chairs and... Of course, bedrooms for all of you. I immediately just like find any type of like fur blanket, grab it, and immediately just go sit in front of the fire and like wrap myself up in the blanket as I'm just like, it's like cold as shit. <laughs> all right. Is there anything any of you would like to do while in the mansion? Um,. And are you going to take shifts as you rest, or are you just going to straight rest? Well, so long, long rest for me, I'm still conscious. With. That's true. Um, but that depends on if uh, the crew trusts Highland. <laughs> <laughs> that rules out stabbing you in your sleep, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. What are you uh, doing, Zara? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, I was just, you know... I mean, <laughs> I still feel like we should take a watch, each of us, just in case Valene tries anything. Um, I'm fine. Well, again, like like I said, I I don't sleep. Yeah. Oh, okay, that makes sense. 
But we should all take a watch in case Heinlein does something to us. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like just kidding, just kidding. It, I mean, I was still in favor of watches just because, like, <laughs> I don't fully know what Heinlein's up to. I don't <laughs> mistrust him, but <laughs> who watches the Watchmen? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I do have one thing I'd do. Oh I'd wait, so I'm gonna wait to see who takes the first watch because I'm kind of gonna like I'm still getting warmed up, so. I think the first watch. Yeah, Valine instantly goes to sit down in her chair at the head of the circle and the two sided hand brings over a cup of tea for just one cube of sugar. Of course. The kobolds kind of pile underneath a blanket together. Only the two of them, not all six of them like there usually is. Does anybody actually do? Oh, go ahead. Yes. I think come here real quick. Insight check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're just gonna tell me to shut up. <laughs> uh, that was really bad. That was eight. So um, I assume I don't. Come here. Yeah, 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 I go over there. It was just I'm a hesitant. Uh, if I look over my shoulder, is like who's where is everyone? Because I'm I'm gonna keep this between us. Uh, where are Magnus and Mansion? So I assume it's fucking big. Yeah, where are Heinlein <laughs> and um? I want to say if, if Liliana. you are next to the fireplace warming up, uh, if there is a chair there or nearby, he will just be sitting in like this nice chair, like yeah, motionless eyes staring at the pretender. <laughs> this motherfucker. And he's, he's he's doing his long rest right now, so he's trying to get his four hours in. Uh, yeah. He is just motionless, staring across the room at you. Yeah, there's like a chair next to the bookcase that's in the opposite corner of where the hearth is, where he'd be able to get a clear line of sight of you as he rests. Where is Heinlein Shield? With Heinlein. Uh, with Heinlein. I mean, is it on your back if you're sitting in a chair? Do you have it set out in front of you? Uh, I guess it would be... Uh, Leaning against the chair right next to me. Okay, okay. I'm going to uh, see that Heinlein is staring the fuck out of me. Um, look at one. Uh, to sit down for a second. Sure. And this blanket, I'm going to pick it up to like... It's going to look like I'm going to try and cover you up, by the way, but that's not what I'm doing. I pick it up. And I like... I kind of say... Uh, I reach into into my shirt and I pull out this necklace. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh. No, no. And I show it to him. And I'm not saying anything. I'm just showing him the necklace. And then I put the necklace back in, like, underneath my cloak. I pull the blanket down and then I point at Heinlein's shield at the symbol on his shield. And they're both the same symbol. That's all my necklace is on his shield. Hmm. I nod my head and as if I understand. <laughs> and I'm just as like, if. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm just gonna say, Oh, I would tell you that that necklace belonged to my sister. Uh, I don't believe you had mentioned it. Yeah, just something to think about. You and your sister got along, correct? Uh, you said me and my sister got along? Yeah, I was like asking. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was pretty young when she died. Look at him staring at us. God, yeah. <laughs> it freaks me out. <laughs> as you as you sneak a peek back at Heinlein, see if he's still staring at you. The hand is directly behind you, with a cup in the thumb and a cup in its pinky <laughs> finger, just standing there. It's and I think Zavros is gone for this. It's a it's like a rotted human hand connected to a wrist, with a hand connected to the bottom of it that it walks with. It's carrying these two cups of tea over to you guys. And it's like right behind you as you go to turn around and peek at the Heinlein. Speaking of, uh, well, 
weird undead things like that. When you left, um... We had to fight the dragon. Uh... Lillian, Lillian and I, um... We had to learn... How do I put this? I had to you do didn't something. Have sex, did you? <laughs> <laughs> I had to do something. I told myself I would never do again, and uh, it worked. But now we have a new way. Uh, I can summon spirits, but uh, ones that are lost. Uh, it's it's as if it's a way for them to get their final rest by fighting the good fight. So, just wanted to warn you, if Eliana and I summon a ghost. I know that normally has a bad connotation to it, but it should be done in a way that. Gives peace for them. If it makes you feel any better. So, was that tea for us? Yeah, it's still standing there. Just yeah. Oh, I cups. thought it was for Heinlein. So, okay. I, yeah, so, I just, I'm just going to reach as I'm listening to him. I don't even care that it's a fucking corpse hand. I'm just going <laughs> to reach up and grab it. And just, like, sip it while I'm <laughs> looking at him. Like, I don't even fucking care where it came from. It's so warm and delicious. <laughs> Oh. All right, uh... I guess it could be useful on... both parties. Just wanted to prepare you, since you hadn't seen it yet. Oh, what do you do? Huh? What do you want to do about him? I don't know. The weird thing is... My main theory is that he is some form of revenant. To usually come back... for vengeance? I just don't know what that vengeance would be on. And it concerns me that he has attached himself to you. Well, he did show up with a lot of items. This cloak in particular was the same cloak that I saw my sister and those two other people she was with in. Tell me. And a bow, magical bow and some and some boots. Uh, and his shield had a symbol on it that looked like my necklace. How did your sister pass away? A uh, troll. I was playing out in the woods and went a little too far. And troll found me. I found a troll. And, uh, uh... She showed up and... Killed it, but she died too. She died. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, she... She's definitely dead. How old were you? Eight. Your sister, is she older or younger? Oh, she's much older. She was around in her 20s when she died. So, young Zavros goes out into the wilderness, runs into a troll, and... I don't know, the troll doesn't notice you long enough for your sister to arrive? Uh, no, he was definitely going to try and eat me. So did you hide? I ran. Ran. You outran a troll? Uh, no, it eventually caught me, but that's when my sister showed up. Interesting, yes. It sounds like you had a wonderful sister. She protected our little town. 
from monstrosities. Davros, I want you to dig. Why might oh. Heinlein be calling you Pretender? So, I have no idea. Maybe... He's going to get kind of quiet and he's just going to look at the fire for a minute. Insight check. I'm digging no, this no, out No, no, I'm about him. to say something. I'm about to say <laughs> something, I still something, want an insight just to see if I can okay. figure it out before you say it. No, I honestly terrible. have no idea why he's calling me a pretender. I can, only, I can only guess why he's calling me that. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. That uh, rolls really bad. <laughs> could be a few things. Uh, one, I claim I'm from Evermeet, which... Technically, I am. Technically, I am not. Maybe I'm not supposed to be a monster slayer. Which is something my sister did. Hmm. Yes. Tell me, what, um... The repertoire of monsters your sister slayed. What, uh... What did she have under her belt? I'm not really sure. I was pretty young. Uh... Albears. Trolls. A few other little fake creatures. Interesting. Um. <clears throat> well, if you think of something, let me know. It's very odd. His arrival. I mean, you all. You do remember me telling you my sister said she would look after him. Mm -hmm. Of course. Mm. Your sister died from a troll. I don't, it's just strange that you came back as a revenant of all things. Maybe there's something else. Maybe he was already coming back. And she just happened to bump into him. As I stare in his cold, dead eyes, staring back at me. <laughs> As you're staring in Tylen's eyes, you look down the hand. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm staring at human I'm stare, <laughs> Like, I'm staring at fucking, uh... Heinlein. Did you say yeah. Heinlein or... Oh, my God. Yeah, as you're staring Names. at Heinlein, you see just behind you as well, the hand is there with a sugar cube in between each finger. I grab the sugar cube and I just eat the sugar cube. <laughs> uh, and, and, like, remember, like, Heinlein, he, his entire, like, visage is, like, that of someone who's been, like, severely um, frostbitten, too. Yeah, you look frozen to death as fuck, boy. <laughs> It's like, hey, Orlin, you ever been swimming really long and it's like the water's really cold and your lips turn purple? Only by accident. Doesn't Highland kind of look like that? But like everywhere? Yes. Huh. Anyway. I think I'm warmed up enough. But I've just gonna sleep right here by the fire as I like grab this blanket and just like curl up in like the fetal position in front of the fireplace. Sleep tight. Uh, one last thing and I, I want to kick Orland for telling me to shut the fuck up so much. I'm just gonna kick Punch him really hard and be like, "Stop being mean to me." By the way, I'm sorry. <laughs> Just piss me off sometimes, just looking at you. <laughs> I love you. Good night. What? <laughs> Can I just like kind of like take a look around at like books or anything interesting Blaine might have hanging out in this mansion? Um. Yeah. Do a for investigation check if you're looking close. <sighs> Roll the four, which is a. Uh... Well, the uh, eleven, right? Half. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. the no. books that yeah. she. Oh, it's eleven. A lot Sorry, of the I'm books. Yeah, a lot of the books that you see are ones that you've already looked through, and a lot of your teachings have come from. Um, you know, she, especially having people here, she'd have some of her more secretive books kept elsewhere, and would be hard to get a sneak peek at. 
Does anybody have anything else they'd like to do before we do this whole resting situation? Nah, or during the rest, even. Yeah, I got something I want to do on my uh, on my watch. All right. If nobody has anything to do before that, Zavros, on your watch, what are you doing? Is anyone else awake? <laughs> Highland, how long do you need to sleep for? Four hours, and I started it <laughs> right away. <laughs> yeah, Highland would be. <laughs> I, oh, I am just sitting as, there as awake as he is. Yeah. Yeah, motionless, staring. So as I wake up and he's staring at me, I'm just going to go. <laughs> and I'm going to. Is there a desk anywhere in this like where Valene was sitting? Not in this main room, no. Because she was just sitting at a chair like at the. Oh, room. she was just sit oh, OK. Yeah. Hmm. How big is this place? Are there any rooms around like? Yep. There's are there any room. open rooms that I would perceive as not a bedroom? Um, no, because it, it would be her bedroom that she's in currently. Uh, and then the one Liliana's in, the one you used, the one the Orden used, and then Hein was in the main room. And one Felicity used, and I forgot she's here too. There's no desk or anything. No. If she had one, it'd probably be in the room that she's in currently. And uh, you haven't done your... Full rest yet, I'll say. I say it's only been the first half of your rest, so you don't okay. have your exhaustion gone yet. Okay, uh. Hmm. Which is only one level that you lose, so you'd still have disadvantage on checks. Yeah. I want in this main room, I don't know the full flavor text of Magnificent Mansion, but I also know that she is a pretty powerful whatever the fuck she is. Can I possibly use my Dungeon Delver feet to see if maybe there's any type of secret door or anything in this place that is created? Interesting. Remind me of everything from the Dungeon Delver feet. Okay, here you go. I'll go ahead and just link that in the chat. Uh, alert to hidden traps and secret doors found in many dungeons. You gain the following benefits. That's why I'm wondering, because it does specify dungeon. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's not a dungeon, and because it's a spell, so it doesn't work the same as a dungeon, I'm going to say it doesn't do this, okay. unfortunately. Well, that just gives me advantage on it, so I'd end up rolling a flat check. And his magic, it could just be a magic trap door, and I wouldn't be able to detect that just by running my hands across shit. <sighs> hmm... I'm just going to mosey around and snoop around and shit. Uh, do an investigation. Not indoors, but like, I'm not going to open up any yeah, doors. Yeah, in the main area. And what it, what was it? Investigation? Invest investigation, yep. Here you go, you fucking plus one. Oh, I got a ten. Um, you find a lot of things on the necromancy magics about bringing things back from the dead, uh, repurposing uh, body parts from deceased uh, peoples uh, into living ones and that kind of stuff. Uh, hmm. Guess if that's the case, I'd probably just finish my watch just sitting, sitting down by the fire looking over like i'm kind of got my back kind of to it just kind of overlooking the room you know because obviously i'm on watch uh and just you know notice heinland's cold dead eyes staring into my soul i don't like how you look at the camera when i say that it freaks me the fuck out <laughs> and yeah that would be my watch so i'd wake up whoever's next i guess or whatever yeah, I would probably take the last watch since I normally do quote unquote dawn prayers. That'd probably be around last watch time. Okay. Is there anything specific you want to do on your watch? I'd say Orlin took the first one if he had anything he wanted to do. I know he kind of already did stuff, but if you wanted anything else. Me? Yeah, if you wanted anything for your first watch, it would have been before Heinlands. I know you, you kind of looked at books already, yeah, so that was no, part I'm, of it. I'm fine. I was, I was going to say some more stuff to Zavros, but uh, he fell asleep, so... <laughs> All right. So I just kiss him on the oh. cheek. Yeah, if you don't die, you can tell him later. 
Uh, Heinle yeah, Liliana or Heinlein, if you have anything. Oh, Zavros is awake for hours after that gift. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is that? Oh my God. I now have Very three nice levels feeling. of exhaustion. <laughs> um, <sighs> during Liliana's watch, um, because I'm just also assuming even when you're not resting, you're just staring at in the direction of wherever Zavros is sleeping. Yeah. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I think Liliana, after she finishes up um, her prayers and such, just takes a seat, like, again, I'll, like, well, I mean, it'd be a triangle regardless, but somewhere where she can see both, like, Heinlein's line of sight and Heinlein, um, and just casually, and not super loud, just ask, why is he a pretender? Uh, and again, uh, he, he, so he, he ima imagines, so he's like watching, you look at him, and he just looks directly over towards you. Um, and then he, confused. Is that part of when you were in the long dark, the long cold, or whatever you were referring long to that. Long dream. Long dream, that's the terminology you use. I do not understand what you mean by your question. Well, you were alive, and then you went into the long dream, and now you've returned. Yes. And you don't know why or can't say why he is a pretender now. And again, it's like almost every time you reference calling him a pretender, it's like that sense. It sounds like you're just saying words to like together. And he like that's the kind of like reaction he's like you're saying words that don't make sense. Um, huh, that's an interesting, that's an interesting tidbit. Um, have you come back? Hmm, how, how do I want to phrase this? Are you here just to protect him or do you have a larger purpose? I'm here because he like gets this pained look again. Um, yeah, I guess that's the he, he just cuts himself off and, and it's pained expression as soon as he says that. Um, I don't. This I'm trying to like check. think of a really good way to like describe what it is he's going like going through when he's trying to when this happens, but I it's it's really difficult uh, to say it without just explicitly telling you. Yeah, what um, I'm trying to ex ex uh, expose about the situation, but it's hard to like find yeah. a good way to say it. Um, Regardless, for. How I'm interpreting it, not that you need to like confirm or deny, but I see it as like having this conversation and then Heinlein is like starting to respond, but then again, paint expression and at least like, oh no, I don't want like hovering on the line of I don't want to versus I can't say, like I can't finish this sentence for something that I'm not aware of, maybe? Like, especially based off of how you've described it previously, like, something is blocking you in one way or another from saying it. Yeah. Um, is there, and this is more of a question for Baka, um, in one of these moments, because I, um, would like, <sighs> Um, hold on, let me look at my spells real quick. I have that prepared. Oh no, I took... So I have Enhance Ability prepared. 
would I um I would have to pick a ch like a skill though to see if like helping him to like try and get past this block could I do like some sort of a role to see if there's a skill that I could improve for him to help him answer these questions do you know what I mean yeah I know what you're trying to say um punch him in the head maybe it'll <laughs> knock something loose do a f flat intelligence check <laughs> I had a literal Ooh. memory block Ooh. okay um a 17 a 17 um you know it has to deal with him returning from the afterlife from what you've heard so uh Possibly a religion or a history check. You're not sure though, because you don't know the nature of of where he was, um, or how he was sent back. So that's your best guess, but you're not sure if that will actually do anything. Um, in that case, then I'm going to um, do I have to touch you for this? Is that a thing? I do have to touch you. Yeah. That's fun for RP. Um, <laughs> I'm going to move closer um, so that either like pull a chair over or something like that and um, rest a hand on like your shoulder slash upper arm. And oh, go ahead. As you're doing that, <laughs> um, instead, you end up putting your hand uh, like almost like momentarily, like just the mist like almost like a ghostly mist like uh right there and like you put your hand out and it's on the ghostly image of of gel who is now sitting there instead uh and heinlein leans over from behind you watch where you put your hands Dude, I don't. <laughs> I think. I mean, like, not in a like, not in like. Oh, this is like terrifying me, or like anything in that matter. Um, but more of just like a little dumbstruck of just like, oh, this is this type of situation now. Like, wasn't expecting that um, dramatic of a response to it. Um, so she'll then just stand up, pull her chair back over and say, I'll keep my hands to myself then moving forward. Uh, and then Gel remains in the chair and Heinlein goes and finds a different chair to sit down and takes his shield with him. Okay. That's all I got then. All right. Quick question. What uh, is the symbol on Zavros's necklace? A lark with the sun behind it. Thank you. All right. Um, so everybody begins to wake up and stir. Uh, but you still have some time until you assume Ariel is to leave once again. So, um, unless you have anything to discuss amongst yourselves. Do. You. Okay. Javros. The uh, out there and, and the kobolds are still underneath the blanket because they're idiots. I wake up half asleep <laughs> and find the chair like an like accidentally like sit into Gale. Just Oh what the fuck? <laughs> Like I look down and my arms glow and I'm like, what the holy shit, I was like get up like startled. <laughs> There's a dead orc sitting in this chair. You know your symbol on your necklace should um 
quite funny. One of the first things I thought about when I thought about ending this winter was how I'd really like to hear the songbirds again. Davros, one last thing about that night. Her sister died. Day, whatever it was. What were you doing going out in those woods? Just having fun. You wouldn't have happened to have been pretending to be your hero. Maybe, I don't know, I was eight. <laughs> ah. <clears throat> I'm just gonna kind of attempt to give him a hug. <laughs> 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 It's kind of awkward. Been a right, you've been a right asshole for the past few days, and you're going to hug me. <laughs> I'm only Sam an asshole because I love says, you. Watch where you put your hands. <laughs> watch where you put this your hands. Start sliding <laughs> down his back. Lily is like, what the fuck? <laughs> Lily Hart has a mind fuck here and that. <laughs> Perhaps, um... I'm calling you pretend there's not something to worry yourself with. Maybe. Well, the, the rest was good. I still feel kind of tired, though. Yes, everybody who've rested now, you get rid of one level of exhaustion, which I think is that was the only one of the non-NPCs have exhaustion. So you're down to one. Valene and Snobs still have one. Snail has none. But before too long, you hear the call of the rock taking flight and flying away from the island. And you are able to once again return to the cold of Icewind Dale and the fog. It's <laughs> <laughs> impossible to see, or impossible to see. Where would you like to go? Oh, do we continue north? Yes, assuming we haven't hit any other um, roadblocks since we've been along this path. Nope, not yet. Well, do we want to go sneaky or no? Um, I think it may be best until we get closer to save on the sneaky spells. Alright. Um, motherfucker could have sworn I had something that could help us here, but I guess I don't. Um, I will, uh, since Heinlein doesn't want to be touched, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast um, Enhance Ability on Zavros for Constitution saving throws for this next hey, round um, of... Thank God. <laughs> um, still you still get also, disadvantage. Um, if we run into some oh, not in the saves. Oh, yeah, nonsense... Um, you do have five temporary hit points for the next hour. Hell yeah. Um, and then if, um, Vaka will let me, can I assist on one check again during yes. this travel? Yes, so once again, you'll have the one assist from Liliana, you'll have the one advantage on a save from the flame, but you already have one from Liliana. Um, or from the torch, if you're relighting a torch. Um, and... I think it's only once a day you get to use your whispers, right, uh, 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 Highland? Three times a day. Okay, yeah, then you can use those as many times as you have. Um, all right, let's get to March, and you're heading north, correct? Yeah. All right, yeah. survival check. And just Flat to be a roll. dick, we'll start heading east towards the coast so I can lead <laughs> them all into an icy death. No, <laughs> Flat roll and survival Ooh. check for the first hour. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Love me, dice god. <laughs> I've got a, uh, yeah, he, you know what? I failed, man. Just oh, know I failed. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We have to do it again. I can't remember. I want to assist. Um, did you put in the chat already your ranger stuff? 
What do you mean? On what? Uh, natural explorer. Uh, no. I think um. because we I've been down to deal with rangers a lot lately. I think I think I think. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, when you're traveling, one where you you gain the following benefits. Difficulty bonus is doubled. Yeah. So you uh, did you add double your proficiency bonus? Oh, I did not. Let's see. Uh, it's probably gonna fail. Let's see what happens. So you already. I think you already add your proficiency to survival. So you just add it again. Oh, okay. So as long as you're proficient survival, which I hope you are as a ranger. So it'd be an extra plus three. Are you not? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's still a thirteen. Uh, oh, I mean, it's better than what you were doing. Um, no, no, hold on. Let me add on to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's I just got to roll his whispers. Bubble one. <laughs> four. He had a four. plus four. Though. All right, cool. Yeah. So you continue without too much of a problem. I love these dice. <laughs> I'm going to use the green one because I'm a ranger. So you're following as this wall kind of dips in and out. Um, and eventually you start to make it to a point where the wall seems to um slope more so you now have the option of if you want to try and go again towards the center of the island to the west you can or you can continue north or east <laughs> your choice well, it seems we can go towards the center which was the wind blowing um it's coming from the east so it's heading towards the west oh, yeah okay. well, the wind hasn't changed uh go figure um it looks like we can start heading back towards the center. That's probably best if it seems, again, if we're more on an incline than a cliff. It shouldn't be too hard. Um, also, constitution saving throws from everybody, please. Advantage Here to those of you that have uh, cold weather uh, resistance. Zavros, you have one advantage <laughs> for the day if you like. Or no, you still have advantage from Liliana for this. Yes, because I gave yep. enhance ability. And Thank God, because I rolled a three. It's an hour long. It okay. is supposed to just be checks, though, right? Or are you low in that? It degree? saves, I believe, is four. Enhance four. ability is checks. That's why. Oh, thinking. it is just checks. Oh well, I roll terribly. So you have and one. You have one. Um, flame advantage for the day. Can I give okay, like my let's... con check to Zavros? No, let's let's do this. Oh well, that's better. I got a I got a fifteen. Hey, you passed. Can I, um, can I petition for something real quick? Yeah. Uh, if if Liliana thought it was saves and it's just a check, could Liliana either switch it or get her spell slot back? <laughs> um. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it if yeah. If I was you just saying if, if you switch it. Like or like take it back. You could always give him something like, uh, like wisdom check. Yeah, I could have if it only works so on checks. His, yeah, because then you can get yeah, you can take it back. That's stuff fine. for an hour. Yeah, um, I mean I'll use it for that first one just so the slot's already gone for that for his wisdom advantage to cast it on wisdom saving wisdom checks instead of the constitution. Okay. Uh, just so that that spell slot. Yeah. So well, inside. for the next check, he'll have the. Is it advantage or is it a uh, It'll be a yeah, flat roll. It'll be a flat yeah, so roll. So make it me. flat. Yeah. yeah. Um, ba -ba -ba, oh, I got go. a natural 20 on my check. Sorry, okay. oh. I didn't say. <laughs> I got a 19 21. for a 20. Okay, cool. Everybody passes but Snillo, so he gets a level of exhaustion. Well, Snillo's going to fucking die. Snillo's only at one right now, so he's good. Uh oh. She brought uh, those things to die so she can turn them into <laughs> zombie versions. They're there All right. fulfilling their duty. So you begin to go west as you head up the slope. Next hour. You got one survival. more hour. <laughs> survival check from Zavros. I believe now you have a flat roll on survival, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's it. Unless we add stuff from Lewis. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. such a good roll. I got a 22. <laughs> 22. I was like, oh my god. When I put my die inside this fucking candle and shake it up, I roll well. But if I do it by hand, it's dog shit. Uh, Zaphros, this roll was so good, it might no, don't let it touch. help you a little bit. So as you are going up this hill, um, you start to see the snow-covered pines start to take over the area. And as you do so, you you're looking um, like you're looking at make sure you're not walking into the trees, make sure you're still going the right direction. 
and you catch a glimpse of something in the snow. Mm. There seems to be a large paw print in the snow. Oh, fuck. And as you kind of look up, you get you hear rustling in the trees far, not far from where you are. And then shortly after, a howl starts to take over all of you from behind you. OK, what's the paw print? The paw print, because of the 22 survival, it's a wolf, but not only a wolf. This is what's known as a winter wolf. Mm. Hey, Olin. Yes. Uh, you still need animal tissue. If we don't have to fight it, I'd prefer not to. Can you speak with it? Um, maybe. This is going to be wild. <laughs> yeah. I will also say from your 22 survival that howl, it's hunting. Yeah, ah. that's what I was going to say. Uh, yeah, it's definitely stalking us. In that case, what do you suggest? Now, there's only one print, right? You only see one where you're at. You also uh, can't see very far. So what were you like, there's, a, there's a trail of prints. It's not just one footprint and it disappears. There's like a trail. <laughs> I can just assume this fucking thing knows where we are already. From the how it would seem that much is. Um, I, am, I am making sure to be like up and close to Zeros now. So, I mean, I could try to speak to it, but this thing knows where we are based on uh, the print, the distance, the rustling over there and the how. I guess, uh, do I have to see the creature? I'd imagine, um, yeah? Let's see. I believe with most of your She's a creature you can... S no, that's Hunter's Mark. Yeah, spells you need line of sight, right? Well, if you yep. speak with animal... Uh, speak with animal... You, you, it's just yourself. Just with beasts. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, I guess I don't have to see the animal? Seems like you don't. You just have to hope that a winter wolf is a beast. Let's see. I guess I'll cast it. As my okay. necklace glows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, what, what am I going to say here? So, I know that you're hungry, but what if I gave you food and you left us alone? How loud do you say this? I would say it loud enough to whatever was like... Because you said there was like rustling in the bushes, right? Yes. I would say it loud enough to where whatever was in the bushes would be able to hear me. All right. So that's your discretion, I guess. Yeah, you, you say this loud enough into the bushes um, and once the, like it's a shorter but still menacing howl comes out from the bushes and to your left and right. So it'd be your north and south. You hear two more howls. I'm sure you're all very hungry and I will feed you all if you don't eat us. And if you would stop howling, please. I'd rather not people know that we're here. Um, you start to hear the noise of things running towards you in the forest. You, you have not gotten a response yet from this thing. So I guess uh, go ahead and go ahead and get your weapons out just in case. And I'm just going to go ahead and pull out like this pouch of fucking rations I have in my bag. I'm, I've got my bow in one hand and I've got the pouch in the other just in case you know and give me just a second while I find some things big, where's, where's the nearest um bird like big one of our <laughs> you don't have your axe piece <laughs> there you go ride on the whale it works every time I am just for positioning's sake I'd be taking up a position near Orlin and Felicity wherever they are all right um, let me I'm grab taking. Your... I would like to take the dodge action, like hold it or something, until I can see one. 
All right. At this point, because you are all waiting, we are going to go into initiative. So you'll have to wait till your turn to do that. Um, because are they are sure? moving. Because he, yes. but Zavros warned me, and that's what I would have been doing. But I didn't want to interrupt. Uh, it's only I'm only not letting you do it because the wolves are also moving. So it's all up to your initiative. All right. Um. So we got Highland here, Liliana, you're kind of there, Felicity's kind of there, and I can let you guys move as we do this as well. I just have to kind of get some obscurity going, you know what I'm saying? Secrets. Secrets. On. Save the settings. Um, let's clear. Sorry, folks. I'm doing a little, little bit of, little bit of fixing to make it make sense to where you're at currently boop uh you huh what you're there what? you're there and let's drag you guys over to this map shall we yeah Ooh, the map but um bum bum but um bum bum and you can kind of change your positioning accordingly and let me get some some music. How's this? No, too crazy. Too uh, crazy. Let's just go with this. It's a black screen. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I can't see a damn thing. <laughs> All right, roll initiative, folks. No. Not bad. Wait, so I just roll a d20 and add my initiative to it. So plus three. Ah! Seven. <laughs> I got a twelve. Sixteen. Ooh. Uh, type them in the chat for me so I can do all of these kids. Because I'm gonna actually do these separately, so you're all just not getting mobbed by wolves on one turn. You know what I'm saying? color should you be i gotta pee really bad i'll be right back <laughs> all right cool yeah you got time i'm being slow said seven correct yeah, yeah seven glad i've just constantly had fighting spells prepared because i don't know when we're fighting ariel <laughs> so i've just had like all these combat spells i'm gonna fuck and ready to go it? But this die started the night awfully, and now it's rolling pretty decent. But I probably just had, it. I've only had one that's had some papoo rolls. All the rest of mine have been doing pretty good. I, I mean, I've had bad rolls, but the proportion of bad to good has been significantly better. Yeah. <laughs> we've had a lot more variety mm -hmm. in the numbers we've yeah. been rolling. <laughs> Which may be inherent bias, but it feels better. <laughs> well, it's like okay, I so I built this I built this dice tray last year mm -hmm. uh, or so, uh, and it's like all right, but I feel like my dice don't roll enough. Mm. If that makes yeah. sense, yeah. So I feel I like they too. just drop into where uh, it's gonna be. All right, so we had that number. Roll. We had this number. We had. Another uh, yikes. Uh, um, <laughs> wait, hold on. That might be different. That might be. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all it is. Okay. Oh, uh, we had a. Uh... Yikes. Okay. That's how you spell Valine's name. I have not yeah. known. It's way longer and fancier oh. looking than I was writing yeah. it. Uh, speaking of, what is Valine's dexterity modifier? To so win, not for her initiative. You're fine. I'm Good. still being slow with initiative. Um, you are on this page, lady. Ew, not bad for Valene. Hey, come here. Let me switch you. Um, Cobalt, what do you have for a modifier? Two. Oh. Oh! 
Them cold bolts are rolling dirty. All right, Zavros, what did you have? You get a seven. Seven. seven? Oh, he's back. I, I mean, unless you want me to re-roll, you know. No, 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 no. Orlin had a 16? Uh, 16. Um, Heinlein had a 12. Uh, Felicity is actually just not going to take part in this combat. Sorry, bye. Dude, that's um, what I should start doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> she's actually old, so she's got to take it easy out here. Yeah. Well, that, huh? Uh, you got that. All right, put in descending order. Sorry about that, everybody. Lots of people, and I didn't want to put everybody on the same turn because it could kind of be fucked. Um, so, uh, Snom is going to cower behind, uh, cower, cower where he is and take the dodge action. Um, yes. All right, Orlin. Oh, um, I will take the dodge action because I'm waiting to see if they're running at us to attack us or if Zavros' plan is working. I'm not entirely sure, so I'm going to hold my dodge or whatever. All right. Um, also, uh, Snilla will also dodge. Uh, Feline. I, yeah, I have your page up, turns out. Um, Feline. Why don't you have some good spells? Mm. <laughs> Love the pre-built stat blocks that are yeah, that's questionable. <laughs> um, she, she will prepare a... Uh, she will take her wand out and is going to prepare a magic missile um, with her wand if she sees anything approach. Speaking of seeing something approach... Which one are you? Okay, you're that one. Um, you see, come like you hear a snarling as something comes bounding at you out of the fog. As a winter wolf lunges at Heinlein, and before it does, a big fucking yourself. wolf. Um, a big. that's a chunky boy. It's just a first level magic missile, unfortunately. But she gets one. Five, uh, 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 seven plus three, ten points of damage uh, to this wolf from the wand, and then it goes to try to bite Heinlein. Uh, for a a a, a ten to hit. <laughs> Knock its face with my shield. Knock your its face with your shield. Um, but as you do so, another one rushes up to behind Orlin, who is also going to try to bite. You do have the dodge action, so it, uh, so it's it it, it is at disadvantage. You uh, shoot. The first one was a nineteen. Second one was an eight okay, to hit. Let me. An eight, say misses. What was the What was the first one? Oh, he has disadvantage right now. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. I thought you got two attacks. Is what my nope. brain computed. He, disadvantage. So he goes to bite, and you're able to jump out of the way as you hear it rushing towards you. Um, Highland, is your turn. Um, I am. This is not the music I thought it would be. Hold on. <laughs> Oh, I can't move myself. Sometimes those fights still be eerie, you know, with like that kind of calm kind of. Yeah. It's like, ooh. Um, I, th I think uh, since this what is do you have your token. It says Heinlein question mark as the one being able to control this. Yeah, I, I'm refreshing roll toying because it, it's kind of kind of goofy to me. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. It's good now. Yeah. I didn't okay. see any wolves come in at all. <laughs> so I thought oh. you were just. The yeah, they're straight up raptor in our asses. Um, the other two raptors you didn't even know were there. <laughs> I will take a step back, uh, and Zavros, uh, you notice as I'm doing this, um, you know when you were between life and death, and you saw the cats? The yeah, the splicer beasts. The splicer beasts as they start, like, they're, like, there, but they're not there. And you see Heinlein step back, and, like, it's the same thing going on. Uh, and Heinlein cast Blur. 
Okay. Did you do that before you moved or after? Because you would take opportunity attack if it was after. Before, before. So I okay. said I was saying as he's walking back. So I yeah. guess before is what he's doing. All right. So it goes to bite. What does Blur do? Uh, for the duration, uh, you have disadvantage against me. Okay. Um, first one's a 19. Second one is a 21. So 19 to hit. Misses. Ooh, very good. It thinks I'm still in that spot. <laughs> yeah, it just like goes to bite and just bites air. Uh, I do have, um, sorry, Gel should be out. Um, oh, yes, true. Do, 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 do. Gel, where are you? Do, 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 do. There you are. Do, do, do. Uh, and I will and I'll give have... you, uh, I'll give you movement of him. Da, da, da. It... Controlled by Heinlein, question mark. Um... Actually, no, he'll, yeah, he'll, st he'll just stay right there, uh, and as a bonus, bonus action? No, I think I have to do an attack action, do that. Um, yeah, I think I have to do a bonus action for him to, or an actual action for him to attack. So, uh, that's it, that's it, that's it. All right, Liliana. Okay, I am going to start off by casting... Oh. Oh, this is an action anyways that uh, simplifies things. I'm going to cast Spirit Guardians, um, which uh, you call for spirits to protect you, flood around you a distance to 15 feet. Um, uh, I'm designating all of our people and Valene and the Kobolds, even though I don't want to, uh, <laughs> um, to not be affected. So an affected creature speed is halved in the area and when it enters for the first time or starts its turn there, it does a save to take some damage. Yeah. All righty. Spectral, is this the, the Spectral Six? No, this is just oh. uh, Spirit Guardians. This is- Oh, okay. okay. So these are just like floating, um, probably more of just like motes of light um, floating around Lelion in this large cloud. Okay. All right. Zavros Weinrin. Oh man, I'm kind of curious. Let me check something real quick. So they're called Winter Wolves? Yep. What do I know about Winter Wolves? Do a nature check. Which is funny because my nature is shit. <laughs> I know. That's a 13. Um, you can tell by them not responding to your speaking. They're probably not beasts. They're probably yeah. monstrosities. Um, and they are known for their vicious bite, but there is, you can't quite remember, but you know that they're able to do something else. Hmm. I'm going to start off by just doing the Slayer's Prey on this fella. All right. One to my right. And I'll go ahead and pump two arrows into him real quick. Pump him up. Pump up the jam. Pump it up. While you feet up. Nat 20. That nice. it. Oh, fuck. Now I got to roll this damn damage. I'm just going to roll both the attacks real quick. Fuck. Roll, roll the other d20 also. See if you get a lingering wound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, that's only a three on that one. Okay, so... The next one is a... 18 plus... 7. Uh, damage? So or no, to hit? Yeah, that hits. To well. hit. So I'll go ahead and roll my damage. So that's 1d8 plus 4. Where's my d8s? So everything from the crit, you do double the dice. Okay, I'll go ahead and roll both of those. Does my Slayer's Prey double? Slayer's Prey also doubles, yep. Okay. Which one's the fucking... Oh, it's the butt-to-butt the -butt pyramid. Where you at? Okay, here's one. Oh, let's go ahead and roll it. <laughs> Never heard of d8. <laughs> yeah, I always want to ask that <laughs> pyramid. <laughs> Pyramid. I was calling. I mean, like, <laughs> yes, but uh, the, well, the reason is like I'll explain in groups. Yeah, D four is the pyramid, and they're like, "What's the D 8 It's like it's the ass to ass pyramid. <laughs> they're like, "Oh, that makes sense." 
So that's five. That's for the crit. Uh, five, eight, plus uh, eight, because it's a plus four. Um, did, wait, yeah, the you do that the, each, the, right? The, the plus doesn't get doubled, just the dice. It doesn't, just the die? Yep. Okay, well then let me do the math. So, okay. And then I gotta roll my two d6s here. Mm -hmm. Uh, double sixes, baby, so 12. <laughs> so 12 plus what? From the first uh, one? That is, so plus 12, and I'll tell you, the da the damage total on the first one is 29. 29 Ooh. from the first one. Now roll for your second hit. You uh, already hit, so you just have to roll the damage. Yeah. Uh. Ah, that one sucks. Uh, one plus four, five. Five points of damage, all right. Yeah, big hit from the first. The first arrow hits him like right behind, right in the the fur, right behind his head. Um, and the second one also hits, but not quite as as critical as the first. Um, it is bloodied. Okay. So blood begins and... to pour down his white fur. Oh goddamn! Already, as this huh? enormous wolf is standing in front of you. Uh. Which wolf is this? Which one? Uh, this is the one. To okay. the side, to the right, right side. The one that got missiled. Yeah. yeah that is. A yeah, that'll be my turn. Damage. <laughs> that'll end All up right. being my turn. All right. So, the next wolf will run up. It will do its save, which is wisdom. Wisdom saving oh, oh. throw. DC fifteen. Um, what is your modifier for wisdom, young man? It makes it at a fifteen. Um. Okay. So it'll Can only I... take. No, um, I'm gonna silvery barbs that. So all right, the disadvantage. Well, it rolls again. It just it it completely oh, actually, you know what? I take it back. I, I, I take it back. I, I don't remember if it's a. It's a reaction, silvery barbs. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so it works. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it, the wording of it is it makes it roll again, so you're not like getting rid of advantage or whatever. So it's just complete yeah, reroll. Yeah. But you um, use the lower. It does. Is the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does fail this time at a fourteen. Okay. okay. Um, I have a question um, real quick. Okay, um, let, let Silvery Barbs finish because it has okay. one more effect. Yeah, so then I'm yeah. choosing... Um, uh, I'm choosing Zavros to get advantage on the next uh, attack roll ability check or saving throw within the next one. Okay. And then while Liliana rolls damage to Zavros, what was your question? Is Gel considered an enemy of that wolf? Yeah. He is. It's part of me. Oh, I should get sneak attack damage on that wolf. Uh, yeah, I'll love that. So yeah. you can roll sneak attack. What is the damage from Spirit Guardians? Um, since he failed, it will be uh, nine damage, nine radiant damage. All right. Um, and I'm not sure the movement on these guys, but when they enter that 15 foot space, it is uh, halved. Yep. 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 So just, I wasn't sure. Uh, just so. Well, you guys got to run into the fog if you want to go anywhere. So. Uh, and they got you pretty surrounded, so it might affect them. It might not. We'll see. Question. Oh, I wasn't sure. Like coming in, if it had to use up all. Oh no, moves. it was like okay. right there. So it and it has quite a bit. So yeah. Yeah, fine. that's that's all I was making sure. All right. The, the sneak attack get doubled. Um. If it's yes, yeah, because it would have been, been, been on, on their first attack. hit. So yes, the dice would be double for that. Okay, so six and five. So eleven. Eleven. Still standing, but looking pretty heckin' hurt, mate. All right, so that wolf runs in. It's gonna try and bite on the on uh, one of those two. I can't remember which nut color was which. Um, it, it'll probably be dead if it hits. It does have disadvantage because it dodged, I'm cocked. Uh, these guys like to get cocked. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a Twelve what? and a an eighteen. So the twelve. Uh, does that hit you, young man? Uh, no, with a 14 AC, uh, Snillo is able to avoid the bite. But as it bites down and it looks up to see the amount of you here and the wolf that's already been bloodied, it throws his head back to howl. And you hear as four howls respond to it. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. <laughs> okay. I, I was, I was starting nuts. to wonder if I should regret casting Blur already. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is good. This is fine. Oh. <laughs> All right. Um, speaking of, which one are you? 
Uh, I will put you on the objects layer now. That's fine, because everybody knows you're all here. The gang's all here. Come on in. The gang's all here. Don't be shy now. Um, you hear as something leaps down from a higher ground. Um, and isn't he quite able to reach you this turn? Um, we got, we got, we got Snillo or Snom, whichever one this one is going next. Um, actually, I do need to know what, because it doesn't tell you the color on the roll. Yeah. The roll turn order, even though you put colors on them, because obviously that's just like a thing. Um, okay. You are the further away one. So he's going to take out his javelin. <laughs> Why do you have a plus zero to hit? And throw it at the wolf. Uh, for a four, the javelin just sails off into the into the fog. Um, do you, you don't have multi-attack as a kobold, do you? No, you just get to attack once. Okay. Um, and then it's the... Which... Why are you highlight, aren't highlighting right? Oh, it's because you're one of the ones up here. All right. Another one begins to move. Doesn't quite reach you guys. Orlin. Okay. Uh, I'm going to attempt to shock and grasp the one right next to me. All right. Uh, nat 20. Holy shit. A nat 20. Uh, that is. So 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, roll again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, roll again. It's, oh, we have the d20 as well. Yeah. Because I, I get extra die, right? So, um, I got a yeah, 10 on did. the second roll. Um, so what did I say the first damage number was? I don't remember. Oh, great. It's 100% forgot. I think it was seven and a three. Okay. Yeah, that sounds right. And then this is uh, another seven and a four. So, 19, 21. 21. Yeah, 21, 21 points of damage. 21 lightning damage. Um, and I will then use my movement to kind of just scoot down and kind of get behind Liliana. Because <laughs> it does lose, um, it does lose reactions, right? What? Yeah, it lose reactions, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, very cool. Um, that does possibly put you in melee with this other wolf. I know. I'm just hoping that he's like okay with eating the kobold first. <laughs> that's that's just checking. I was only I th I thought about it for a long time because it's like I can go right in front of the lean, but then that other wolf's just gonna come up to me potentially anyways, mm -hmm. so and chase me. I was like, this is probably the smarter. Just oh, making right. sure you didn't miss that. <laughs> yeah. Other kobolds gonna try and stab this wolf with its knife. It gives me such a long page for the kobolds. I have to scroll down every time to see what it has. Uh, for a dirty 20 to stab him. Uh, Ooh. little snom. I, I'm sure I'm mixing up the names constantly. I'm sorry. Uh, for five points of damage to this wolf. All right, and then it is Valine's turn. She's not liking where she is, but tough luck. Um, she is going to kind of do a little, little boot scoot over this way, just kind of be away from things. And then she will, yeah, she wasn't in range good. Um, she will use Ray of Enfeeblement which I should probably choose a spell that I know what it does, but I don't. I have a general idea. Um, on a hit target deals only half damage with weapon attacks. They use strength until the end of, uh, I'll consider bites to be uh, weapon attacks. Um, uh, what's it say to hit? Six, 60 feet, a black beam. Do you just hit him? Uh, what is your ray of enfeeblement? Oh, you make a ranged spell attack. Okay, cool. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That will hit on this wolf. Uh, so, target deals only half damage with its bites from for a minute, and it is concentration. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So you are, nice. you are heart caged, and you are thinking with a wrench. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, so that is Valine's turn. Winter Wolf, that is closest to Gel, is going to try to bite through this spiritual 
guy. It's gonna miss. Because I think Gel's AC is actually pretty good. I think I got a 15, I wanna say. Plus, yeah, 15. So he tries to bite and misses. Next wolf. Um, Orlin, because you're the one that ran away from it, roll me a D6. D6, all right. A three. A three. It goes after Liliana. Oh, wait. Both those wolves have to make wisdom saves because they're in the spirits. Oh, yes. At the start of the turn. Um, The first wolf is going to fail. The second wolf is going to pass. Okay. Uh, for the audience, I also messed up on my roll. So the first time I rolled D6s instead of D8s. So I rolled much better on D8s this time. Um, that is 16 damage. Uh, so halved if they pass. All right. Um... Both still standing, uh, but it is going to try to bite you now. Okay. Um, does a 24 hit? Yeah, it does. It does. I'm sorry. I rolled pretty bad, though. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. Um, and you must make a strength saving throw, please. Before you mark the damage. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Heinlein, like, is, like, watching things, and he just kind of, like, backhands the shield out to, like, block this thing uh, and reduce the damage by nine. All right. Ooh, so zero perfect. points of damage, but you still have to make a strength save. Okay. Um, ooh, that's um, dirty 20. All right. You are able to stay... Uh, you're able to stay upright. You kind of dig your claws in, waiting to get hit by Heinlein, knocks the, the, the attack away, and you're unharmed. Speaking of, Heinlein, it's your turn. Uh, so he, like, follows through, like, this kind of, like, twist, and then he, like... So he, like... I I'm trying to think, imagine how he's, like, he's here and the thing's behind him. He, like... Whoa! Bing! And then, like, his sword ignites with fire um, as he slashes down on it with his green flame blade. Um, and he's, uh, actually, I don't know how long that, I'll probably wait for that. Uh, okay, yeah. Um, so he'll attack with that. Uh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, does a 20 hit? A 20 does hit? 20 does hit, um, so it's 2d8 plus seven, plus seven. So that's seven. Um, that's 11 damage. All right. And then because of green flame blade, um, on um, a hit, the target suffers 11 seconds. You can cause a great fire to leap from the target to a different creature. Also, that, uh, equals to my. What? Hold on. It has to be within okay, five okay, feet, okay. doesn't it? It's, it? Does it have to. Um, I believe so. Yeah, 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 never mind. So, never mind. Um, okay. Never mind. Yeah. So, I just, I just did what I did. Oh, no. Yeah, sorry. Never mind. All right. All right think that's it then all right ski um you hear as another wolf begins to advance upon your party and then it's liliana's turn um okay i am going to bonus action um take uh yeah yes it's a spiritual weapon that's what i'm looking for um next to this wolf down here. I'm gonna plop it over there. All right. It swings when it appears. So that is a dirty 20 to hit. Uh, that will hit. Uh, so that is seven force damage to that one. All right. Oh, six is my <laughs> spiritual weapon. <laughs> um. And then the one to, like, the upper right of us, that is the most damaged, correct? The, yes. Then I am going to cantrip uh, Sacred Flame, that one, so I need a Dexterity saving throw. All right. Uh, 21. Okay, then it passes, so nothing happens. And that's my turn. 
All right, Zavros, you hear as one approaches just out of your line of sight um, and is very close to you. It is your turn. You are uh, muted. Yep, you're <laughs> muted, buddy. I'm going to... You know what? Let's fucking do it. Let's finish off this fucking wolf. All right. Um, I'm going to smack it with a stick that's got a arrow tip on it. All right. Smack it with a stick with an arrow tip. Uh, first attack. Oh, that's good. 18 plus 7. That'll hit. And... Uh, it's plus seven or to to the hit or to the damage. To the hit, so it's eighteen right. plus seven. What's uh, your what's your modifier to your damage? My damage is one d eight plus four. All right, even without rolling the dice, that first arrow just kills that one. All right. <sighs> so now was the one with your favorite foe or Slayer Spray? Slayer yes. Spray. Um, I have a question for you. Yeah. I have multi-attack. Mm-hmm. Can I drop my bow and pull out my short sword? Or can I just, like, drop the bag of meat that... Well, actually, I would have already dropped that because I grabbed an arrow. Uh, can I whip out I, a short sword and stab the one next to me or no? I think multi-attack you have to use the same weapon for. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I think that's the difference between multi-attack... Or, uh, double... Whatever the, whatever the beasties and the monsters yeah. are. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, I'd get disadvantage shooting the one next to me, right? Yes, but there is one further to the south, yeah. and there's one in the darkness, which would also give you disadvantage or in the fog. Yeah, it's in the fog, though. Um, I'm gonna shoot the one that I see. The further south one? Yes, I'm gonna right. I'm gonna shoot the things that I can see. I don't want to like waste a chance of like whiffing it. So. As a bonus action, I can make that one my Slayer's Prey, correct? You can catch your focus on one foe, increasing the harm you inflict on it. It's bonus action, designate one creature. Or since I've already initiated my attack, I can't do the bonus action and then attack again. How do you rule on that? I believe you can only move in between your attacks when you're Well, that is my right? turn. Does anybody that else only... have any thoughts on that? It, it doesn't matter because my Slayer's Prey would have killed the thing that already shot. So it doesn't matter if I moved it because it's already been used. It only works on the first hit. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. Um, I'll just I'll just shoot my last arrow. Okay. And then afterwards, put it on there. So you said you gave me advantage on an attack, right? Yes. Okay, I'm going to reroll that because that was an eight. <laughs> that's better 14 plus 7 that'll hit okay so that is a 1d8 plus 4 and I'd get sneak attack right because yes you would because you haven't used it yet okay 1d what did I say 1d8 yeah 1d8 4 that is a 3 4 5 6 7 so that's 7 on that and then the 1d6 4 8 Sneak attack. That's a five. So, uh, is that eleven? What is that? Seven plus five. Twelve. Seven plus five. Twelve. Is twelve. Yep. All right. And I am going to. Hmm. Damn! If I move, I get an attack of opportunity on me. Uh. Mm -hmm. Actually, hold on. Let me check something here real quick. So I can disengage as a bonus action because I haven't used the bonus action this turn. Um, if you don't want to put your Slayer's Prey on that wolf, you can use it as a, dis as a bonus action, yes. Well, I mean, it, was, it that's why I decided not to do that, because it wouldn't yep. affect it anyway this turn. I, I would have to wait till next turn anyway to get my advantage right, and my cool. bonus on that. So, I want to use my cunning action, and I want to... Shit, man. I either want to get next to Heinlein, or I want to get next to that robot. 
So I'm gonna it get is a between. I just put a robot there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just calling it a fucking robot because that's what I see. <laughs> um, I'm gonna get in front of Gel, just to take a step back because I do hear that thing coming from the north. I just didn't want to get fucking hit by the wolf. Um, and that would be my turn. All right. Um, that being said, uh. I need another wisdom save from the wolf because this is the the far the south one is going. It passes your thing, so half damage. Um, I rolled well again on that. So that's half of eighteen is nine radiant nine damage. Nine that's no radiant damage. And its speed is still half, no matter what. And it brings it to bloodied state, but it's going to try and bite this kobold. Oh, it's from that one misses um but you hear uh let's see yeah this one's able to move close enough it does have to make it save uh this one will also pass the save um do you want to use the old roll or a new roll um let's just use the old roll again how much was it um if it i got 18 total so if it passed okay so nine um uh, I'm just gonna try to bite you, Zavros. Um, for a 16. Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that hits. All right. Um. Oof. Uh, 16 points of damage. Thank God I got five temp HP. And I need a strength saving throw from you, please. Can I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, just what your ruling is on this. I, I think the wording is really loose, so I don't really know what it's uh, saying. Okay. So when a creature you can see hits a target other than you within five feet of you with an attack, you can use your extra reset damage. Is is it I have to be five feet next to the creature or five feet next to the recipient? Are you using the shield thing? The interceptor, yeah. Uh, yeah. It the the person getting hit has to be within five feet of you. Person getting okay, okay. So then I can use my reaction to reduce your yes damage. Uh, I reduce it by six damage. So uh, how 12 much? points of damage. Okay. All things considered, it wasn't that bad. And a strength save? Yes. This is going to be fucked. Why am I proficient? In sh oh, whatever. <laughs> That's a 12. That's a 12. You are knocked prone as this wolf jumps on top of you. Highland's able to, like, knock it enough that it doesn't get full bite purchase, but it does knock you prone. Mm. At the end of this round, I do want to ask everybody, it's getting late, do you want to continue this battle to completion, or do you want to break here and pick it up again next week? Because you know there's more wolves coming still. It would probably be best for me if we stopped here. Uh, just because it is getting a wee bit late, and Jeez. if we have four more wolves coming in, <laughs> yeah. All right. Fair enough. So, as this wolf knocks Zavros prone and snarls over the top of him, and you hear more rushing through the fog, is where we'll end today's session. So, thank you so much for joining us. Um, it's been fun. It's been it's been a hoot. We did a little bit of travel in the fog, and now we're we're fighting some hog wolves. I think uh, be, <laughs> hog wolves. I thought they were winter wolves. <laughs> be sure to follow all my players on their various social medias and streaming platforms, as well as Swindler's Den on all your social media streaming platforms, especially YouTube, where we're almost at a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much Ooh, for all the away. support. It's so so neat and cute that you support us. <laughs> So cute. It was so we'll, cute. See, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night, everybody. Bye. All right.